Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Let's level it over. Let's bring it over to the Blood Surge build. And we're gonna make two builds today. We're gonna make the Blood Surge Summoner and then the Blood Surge No Summoner. While we're gonna be using Truus Embrace, the new unique gloves that consume corpses and the mini Nova Amulet. So not the Banished Lord's Talisman because the Banished Lord's Talisman were nerfed so good but mo 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 main important or most important is that we're actually gonna use cruor's embrace and that one is interesting because blood surge now consumes corpses right and the interesting part about the corpse consumption that cruor's embrace does is that the actual consumed corpses they do count in our skill tree as consumed corpses for fueled by death and other shenanigans so there are an actual real corpse consumption and that is fairly interesting but it also means we get a masterwork that thing completely now and actually see what what, what, would it, what what would we look like what would we like to get higher i guess more ranks more corpse damage more overpower damage and more ranks and blood surge would probably be the preferred outcome now we need some now we need some Opticide, one, uh, some Ingolith. Ingolith caches, 100. I hope they really fix this, that you can actually pick this up all straight away. And we're going to be building the build really from the ground up today to see what is possible. I think there's quite some interesting twists and turns this can take, especially with the Paragon board. And with the amount of summons that we can jam into this. Right? Streaming on a Sunday. We always stream on a Sunday, Hunter Mac. Sunday is my normal working day. I mean, welcome to the life of a content creator. Oh wow, really? We get that. I'm I'm instantly resetting this. I'm I'm not I'm not going to take that as an upgrade. So we get the healing as our masterwork. That's bullshit. I don't want the healing as the masterwork, right? That, that's that's like it has happened so many times now the problem is i feel like the resetting doesn't actually work because i've reset now many many times over and over again right and every single time i reset it just like i have reset five times in a row and i've five times gotten the wrong outcome i mean call, call it unlucky but it seemed like it was almost hard-coded See, this time we get the overpower damage plus. That's worth it. Our master work failed. Fantastic. Can't wait for that not to be in season four. I hope we're going to get an answer from them very soon on this. And we're actually going to get a season four theme. I mean, like, what is it? We have, we have not even 30 days left for the next season. So I almost feel like it's also about time that they, that they finally tell us what the theme actually is going to be. Been waiting for the blood surge build uh with a new unique it's gonna be really cool uh you're not gonna play with sacrilegious souls no um so wh why are you not gonna do it with sacrilegious souls because your truors is eating up all the corpses and if you're eating up all the corpses then you can't actually use corpse explosion anymore but you don't need to use corpse explosion this is very important because crores or the use the use of corpses that crores embrace does so when Cruz Embrace does use a corpse, then that corpse produces essence. So if you're using Fuel by Death, you're actually making the essence production work and so on. Okay, that is... Oh, double the overpower. Jesus, I have 110% overpower on these gloves. Jeez, that's, that's intense. Okay, I want to masterwork this completely through. Then we're going to masterwork the amulet as well, because we're first going to make the summoner build. It's going to be interesting to see how how well we can do that especially as we're going to be using a two-handed weapon probably for essence cost reduction okay that one went quick now we have 40 percent core skill damage we have 120 percent overpower there is four ranks to blood surge right we run this with minions we're going to make one build with minions and one build without minions okay those fails are kind of insane yeah they, they need to leave Okay, that is... Oh, that's the heal. That's bullshit. 
See, now now I would have to re reset this, right? Right now I would have to reset this mask to work and do it again. Oh no, I don't have... Oh no, this is bad. This is very bad because I don't, I, I don't, I don't have a socket in here. So I won't be getting my, my resistances up. Oh no. Unexpected. Very bad, no resistances. At least that one is going fast. Huh. Although the failing is just bullshit, but I have enough resources to essentially not care about the failing. Yet, yet, having the resources and still being annoyed by the failing is two different things, right? Because yes, yes, it doesn't matter that much that I fail, but that doesn't change the fact that it's horrendously annoying to fail regardless, right? I don't like that. Pwned by Phil, wonderful, good morning, happy Sunday to you. Thank you for the 83 months of support. That is quite the many months of subscriptions, and I do appreciate that a lot. Isn't there an aspect that makes Novas on your minutes too? That's the amulet. We're playing the Cruise Embrace for the Novas together with the Death Speaker's Pendant. The Death Speaker's Pendant is making set Novas you were talking about. Okay. Wait, didn't anything get master worked? Chat, am I missing something here right now? I upgraded it four times and nothing got 25%. Or, or am I am I just blind? Okay. Oh, did, did you see this run through, Chan? Once in a while, not failing every single master work. My main complaint about the failure is just right now we want to make the build, right? But we need to master work this equipment. So we are essentially um Like, like, right? The, the amount of clicking I have to do. Okay, so what do we have? We have essence cost reduction higher. And we have that. That's actually really cool. So we get the two amulets. Good. Now let's set up the skills for now. We take hemorrhage, but we're not going to use hemorrhage. We have blood surge. Already at nine blood surge plus the paranormal blood surge. We're going to make more corpses. We're going to go for the essence and we're going to go for this. And we're probably going to boost our armor as well. Um, we might need Blood Surge, but I'm not entirely sure if we're going to play Blood Surge. Uh, we're potentially not going to be playing the Curse, so let's leave that away for now. Mm, we do need the Movement Speed. We want Mages, because again, we're playing this with Mages. We're going to play Corpse Tendrils. Blood, 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 Blood. Uh, blood Fortifies Us. Then we're going to play... More crit, stronger minions, stronger minions. And we're probably going to play Blood's Bone Storm into Rothmas Vigor because we need the safe overpower. So that all kind of makes sense. Then we have one point left over. We wouldn't play the curse. Probably have to think about playing the curse. So how would our skill tree look like? We have the Blood Surge. We have the Skeletons. We have the Corpse Tundles and we have the Bone Storm interesting we have one skill slot left over hmm this says around our minions right these our minions so that means we can play the we can play the golem so no curse gameplay does necker have something super op that needs to be nerfed necker has something super op that needs to be nerfed and that something is called uh, Even Piercer, but that's because Even Piercer is bugged right now. Um, that's the only reason. Okay, I'm thinking about using a two-handed weapon, guys, that has uh, essence cost reduction. I've actually picked this up here. So we have, we have multiple two-handed weapons, and they do have a resource cost reduction. Here, this one, 42.8% resource cost reduction. I think I had another one of those, right? I have a sword. Yeah, here. Resource cost reduction, damage over time. It's a sword, actually. The damage over time has to be re-rolled, though. 
into something else if i want to play two-handed weapon why can't i reroll this oh, i need to restart the game it's a bit it's a bit weird but this is like a mistake in the in the test server right now that whenever you can't actually keep re-rolling you need to restart and then it suddenly works again it's a it's a bit it's a bit of a weird one so the even piercer is fixed but probably will be fixed your nuclear bone spear build is the most fun and the nuclear bone spear build is even better now we have a release date for season four it's the may 14th so the thing is that like right now yeah you're gonna have to you're gonna have to wait which one will you play in the new season i will most likely most likely start with any summoner so probably my shadow my, my sever summoner into full summoner because the summoner is just extremely strong it does come down to the season four mechanic because we don't know what to expect there so the damage over time needs to be re-rolled into attack speed actually it would need to be re-rolled into overpower damage Right, it, it can get overpower damage. Can it not get? Yeah, overpower damage. Yeah, 118%. And look at this weapon. That's insane. Especially because we could master work this. Now, now, now things are actually getting even more interesting. When you think about this, right? So I have I have 40% resource cost reduction. But that's not it, right? I mean, I, I'm still not sure if I want to play a two-handed weapon because a two-handed weapon seems a bit overkill. And I might just simply not have the resources to pull this through. So look at this. We can temper it with... What are we tempering it with? Um, we, we don't have blood finesse, sadly, here. Yeah, I don't have my blood finesse to boost my blood damage. That's a bit of a bummer. actually really a bit of a bummer i haven't picked a blood finesse yet and i have blood augments here that's the blood surge nova size but that wouldn't do anything um right now you probably go for lamental surge to have a lucky hit chance to trigger physical damage but then again blood surge doesn't really have much but with the blood surge mini nova so you should actually get this off you know well, the nerf minions will let us have fun. They'll probably let us have fun. Let's go for the Blood Surge Nova size. Let's, let's give that a try. Okay. Blood Surge Nova size. And then we're going to go for... 90% uh, damage plus. Yeah. Wow, oh, a weapon. That weapon looks. That weapon looks tasty, Chad. Okay, again, look at this. It has forty-two percent resource cost reduction. Right. Let's push that a bit higher. So suddenly we are at one hundred sixty-five percent overpower damage. Holy Christ! Holy. We play 100% Corpse Explosion, but we'll make one of those two, don't worry. But we're currently lacking Black River to actually make that. So to truly make the 100% Corpse Explosion build, Black River would be needed. And not only Black River, it's actually Black River and um, the Litless Wall. So I don't, I don't have the Litless Wall right now to even test this build, actually. Okay, let's let's get, let's get this only eight times upgraded. So I have 140% damage plus and 50% resource cost reduction. With these two together, my blood surge costs 12 essence. It's nothing. Oh, by the way, that reminds me of something. We forget to put the points into imperfectly balanced. Hmm. That hires the resource cost slightly, but it makes makes the damage velocity higher. What class this is Necromancer. Okay, what we're going for is we're gonna go for cold mages to provide us with essence, so we're never gonna run out of essence. 
Then we're going to have the warriors be the reapers for bonus corpses. So we always have bonus corpses. And the golem is probably going to be the blood surge golem to actually give us a damage reduction. That's currently the plan. We are right now at a 20% critical strike chance because we get bonus 12%. Uh, we will need rings with critical strike chance. So that's important. These rings sting. So we need different kind of rings. And we need an uh, we need a uh, Yeah, we need boots with essence per second, I think. Where's my essence per second? Here, this is this is eight essence per second. Wanted to try that out. There already plenty master worked. Um, the skeletal priest would affect me. Not sure if we're going to use that. If we're going to re-roll the... I know that the life per second Sally needs to stay. Shit, that's a bit annoying. And we have pants with the total armor, max life, total armor, corpse general size. We could probably take that. And this one also has actually thorns. We could re-roll the thorns on that one. Into can it be? What can it be? It can be resistance to all elements would actually be nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. resistance to all elements that's not true we could actually play that's very sad to see i'm super not peeved we're not getting anything this is super not annoying luckily this is not my real gold luckily this is only the test server I feel like re-rolling needs to be three affixes at this point. With two, it's just a joke. Like the, the amount of the amount of gold you waste until you get what you're looking for, right, is way too damn high. You know? Fingerbury, you get Black River for me. I mean, if you if you wanna get rid of it, like be my guest. Uh, then we can do the build tomorrow. Because obviously the test server is gonna stay for a while. Uh, because I'm actually looking to personally make some fun. Yeah, when you have like 7 billion golds so on making tunes, exactly. Okay, let's find some more essence per second gear at this point. Uh, I get a helmet, a chest. It's life per second. We need rings with critical strike. hit chance this all is all like ban any critical strike chance critical strike the ring it has critical strike damage wow that's a lot of critical strike damage holy and rings not have critical strike chance anymore they can right Here, this has critical strike, damage, chance, and damage. I was saying, I'm not crazy. They can still have that. What other was there? Life on hit, essence on kill, damage. Uh, probably. Resistance to elements. Should work. I mean, it's nice that the resistance to elements uh, reroll exists. But it still feels plenty weird. So I want to have just the normal natural finesse on it, probably. Don't shoot crowd controlled enemies. No damage, exactly. Dingleberry. Ladies and gentlemen, Uno Uno Black River. The, the saddest Black River, though, Dingleberry, you, you're really unlucky. Like, you're really unlucky with that Black River. Thank you very much. Shout out to the chat, guys. Uh, because that Black River has one out of three corpse skills, one hood flesh, one fueled by death. 
Oh, it's, it's, it's like the poor, poor Black River got robbed there. Oh, you get the Litless Wall too. Holy Christ, Jesus. Well, then, then we can definitely make that corpse explosion only. Well, I mean, it's not going to be a corpse explosion only build, but something in that direction. That's going to be fantastic. I'm really looking forward to that. Also to make the full blood search video now. I like your guide for blood search. Is that build still good? I mean, the level 50 skill tree is all you need. I don't know why you need more than a level 50 skill tree, sir. Um, but yes, the, the builds are still good. I mean, no, no builds suddenly get terrible. I know we're, we're done in the resource. Okay. So we can do resource cost reduction. Um, yeah, I need resource cost reduction. And at some point, I think there's too much resource cost reduction, right? Let's let's uh, get this one up. Masterwork, masterwork, masterwork. Thank you, Dingleberry. That's really amazing. I'm super new to this game. I got a few days ago, but but builds are cool. I'm just learning the basic things. I mean, there is there's a lot to learn, and there's a lot of fun to be had because I think again, Di Diablo is truly an amazing game. Diablo Four. Uh, I know there's a lot of grievances and there's a lot of people angry, but the fact is and stays for me that Diablo 4 is a fantastic game, that it is quite fun to play, um, and that, you know, you can just have a brilliant time with this one. Despite the sadness all people are feeling, or some people are feeling, and the anger, the resentment oh no momentum it's good I, i'm just happy that i have like one to try out things i mean we're not trying to make the perfect builds right now correct we're trying to check out if concepts are working if i could be doing um like how how well are things working um we're we're we're, we're like right now putting on the basic equipment that you would have at this point i'm also going to master work like eight times most of the things right so that's damage resource cost reduction. That means our our blood surge costs only 10 resource, John. Holy. You want to see something really funny right now? Hey, John, you want to see something really funny? Uh, we have only 103 essence, but our thing costs only 10 essence. You're going to sleep. You're not going to sleep. We're going to make this work, sir. Devil, thing with the 76 months of support. Devil, get to see there. What are you doing? You, you can't go to sleep because we're trying to make this work. Okay, let me... Multiple training dummies, elite training dummies. We need to make some corpses. Sadly, my lucky hit is abysmal, so making corpses is going to take a while. We have these... We have these dudes. Okay. Get all these guys up. So these would be my standard skeletons right now, without any boost. Look at my essence. Ma, 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 So that that's that's right now that's right now and and you know what the main reason is this essence per second. I am I am essentially producing currently ten point one essence per second. <laughs> and we're not even done yet because again cruel's embrace consumes corpses to cast uh fueled by death and other shenanigans so cruel's embrace itself is giving us essence as well that's already a good thing the only problem we currently have is that we um we're not getting fortified enough might actually have to put more points into this to get more fortified. Hmm. Because we're not fortifying enough. Okay, we need a chest piece. Something interesting. Actually, we don't only need a chest piece. Technically, do we need a ring of Mendel? I mean, if we're going to play this already the right way, 
I'd say we're probably going to take the Ring of Medellin because it's just minion attack speed as well. So let's take the one from the summoner for for the summoner. When it, it will work without the ring, but I think we should take the ring. If really confused about gear in this game, then ask your questions and we'll see if we can answer them. Mm -hmm. Bring down. One single one. I have more. Okay. First blood search summoner, then blood search no summoner. But I want to see how well blood search summoner works, because blood search no summoner and then cruise like cruise embrace wouldn't make that much sense. So we take the Ring of Mandelm too. That's our second ring then. Ring Ring Amulet. That's three uniques. I actually do hate using three uniques. Uh, because kind of like, oh, this is not going to work without uniques. No, no, it is going to work without uniques. Trust me. Oh. I carry the best. Ruby. The Overpower damage, Ruby. Okay, these, these pans is not what I'm, what I'm most excited for, but... They at least have two sockets in it, so we can get them better. Let's uh, let's master work them four times to get the stats a bit up. So utility would be. Oh, wow, utility corpse syndrome size is still possible. Corpse explosion size is not good. Because I don't do corpse explosion. Corpse explosion size is not good. Corpse syndrome size. Thank you very much. And what we need. Um, blood orb healing, blood mist duration, blood mist cooldown. No, we need a little armor. Yeah, to get the armor a bit higher. And we're going to master work you a little bit. Beautiful thing. Are you build it? Which blood summoner do tier 100 pit early? Oh, tier 100 pit should be possible. Uh, not sure if straight out of the house with the build. And like, do you see this? He, it didn't master work a single thing. Let's reset the master work and try this again. Because it's like weird. I think it's when you're clicking too fast. He didn't master work a single stat, or I'm just blind, and he tried to master work the skill to mage mastery, and that one didn't succeed, and that's why it broke. That could be a thing. Uh, who drops the gloves we're using right now? I think Beast of Eyes. Evil Hunchin, by the way. Thank you for the three months of support. Appreciation. Hope you're doing well. Okay, that is. Uh, we get the boots. We get the pens. Uh, we get we get one more item with essence per second, didn't we? Was it a chest piece? Lucky like hit chance. Where's our essence per second gear? Life per hit. That was golem mastery. That was essence on kill. Life per second. Where a helmet with essence per second. See, this would be a helmet with essence per second, Chan. We'd have to reroll the life per second because that's just bullshit. Into maximum life or. Something in that direction. Yeah. Well. That will work. Then we have 18 essence per second or 17 essence per second, which is actually insane. Um, we need attack speed and we need to decide where our Codex of Powers are coming from. Sadly, my Codex of Power is completely reset currently, which is a big bummer. Why is my Codex of Power completely reset? Uh, because I, I had to... I had to make more characters for more resources and that's why we kind of have everything reset again. It's, it's a it's a bit annoying but it is what it is i mean i can still destroy some items to actually get what i'm looking for that's the attack speed that's good um that's the minions so that's also good that's corpse central also good not sure how to get all the aspects i need under one head 
Because that's the thing with the two-handed weapon right now, correct? I have the two-handed weapon, and I only have one ring. So that means these are my only offensive aspects I can get. One aspect definitely needs to be the blood aspect. So we need the we need the blood attack speed aspect. There, there is no there is no question about that. So you want the um I do fifty percent more attack speed. And the interesting part is if I get fifty percent more attack speed, okay, when I overpower, I get fifty percent more attack speed. That fifty percent more attack speed goes to my minions. So my minions are currently getting fifteen point two percent bonus attack speed, correct? And then they get another 50% bonus. So there would already be at 65% bonus attack speed just like that without much of a hassle. And if we're then introducing also Cult Leader into this, then they should be getting even more attack speed. So that is definitely something that we can make work. Now, I am not really sure what... What glyph we take first here? I mean, you get that razor that you kind of want to have. We have the sacrificial. Oh, we can't take exhumation. Exhumation doesn't make any sense, right? Because consuming your corpse fortifies you, but we are not using any corpse skills for bonus damage. So that one would actually not do anything good. Mm. I'm probably just taking corporal at this point. Then you would still have to take Flesh Eater. And in this case, I would actually have to go through the attack speed because we need every whittle little bit of attack speed. And Critical Strike. And yes, we're playing Flesh Eater for the Corpse Consumption at 40% because the Cruerous Embrace uses corpses. Right? Recommend Blood Moon Pants. No, we're not playing Blood Moon Pants. Thank you. It's not, it's not a bad recommendation, but it's just not for the build that we're going for. Right now. Uh, we don't really have something to boost the stats here. It's actually a bit sad. Don't have the essence. You... Only a bunch of sad glyphs that I don't really want to play. Sacrificial like wouldn't work. Scorch wouldn't work. Territorial wouldn't actually be bad because Territorial is quite nice. Territorial is a bonus damage reduction from close enemies. And we're technically close to enemies most of the time. Playing Territorial wouldn't make sense. And that would be freely activated without even trying. That's actually quite decent. Then you would have to go into the bloodbath board first. For the overpower damage. Out of question. You would have to take the... Essence Glyph here for the maximum of thingies. You would have to take the Cult Leader. So otherwise, it doesn't make sense to go for this. I would have to go for the bonus attack speed and the elemental resistance plus the skeletal warrior damage which then brings us to cult leader we're not taking the one back here i should notice that that is not necessary that razor i would have to take send of death is that provides us with a critical strike we need. Actually, that's the question. Do we still do we still try to weasel out all the critical strike? Despite Do 
Are we still trying to weasel out all the critical strike or not? I mean, that would bring us as an overpower of 1,500 only. Wow, well, that's so weird. That's so weak. That's so weak. Not having the fourth stat is really diminishing returns here currently. I have to say. What are our resistances at? Our resistances are horrible. <laughs> not even remotely close because we are obviously not boosting these one higher. Not only are we not boosting these one higher, you barely have any resistance taken. But my biggest problem is that I don't have gems in here to actually boost this to a point. Can all unique items drop random in tier 4? Yes, every single unique item can drop randomly in tier 4. Okay, we get the resistance, the resistance, the resistance. But it's simply not enough. We have the armor, but it's also not enough. We need a chest piece. An interesting chest piece. But this chest piece would have essence per second too. But I think I have enough essence per second. So that wouldn't work. This is uh, intelligence and life. That's also essence per second. That would be life and thorns. Healing received. I do, I do believe I need one with more armor. This would be skeletal mage mastery, but we can't actually take that. Probably going to take the one with the max life and then reroll the... Going to reroll the fire resistance and the fire resistance. Going to actually reroll the life per second into something that's not life per second it's crazy how many armor rolls i need to just get my armor up at this point despite having like you know total armor percentage here total armor percentage there and yet yet we are still not getting our our thingy up right need to try to roll this into total armor percentage thank you very much to try to roll this into corpse tendril size. That is not, thank you very much. Okay. A bunch of... Bunch of sad... Coming together. Okay, we get the armor higher. So we're 12,000 armor. Still not impressive in any capacity, right? We'll make do with what we have here currently. So we got what? We got 22,000 life. We have to remove that fire gem because we do have the fire resistance up. So our fire resistance is at 70. Uh, we're going to get the lightning resistance up. So we need a lightning resistance gem right now. Topaz. And it doesn't help that my two other things don't have sockets in them. So that's a bit of a, a bummer. Okay, let's see if our... How much damage do we deal? And if our minions are actually staying the way they are. Is that that's like the interesting part? Like we should wait. We don't we don't actually test it like this. We're straight up going to tier 70 dungeon. Blood Moon Breaches. I only have a very low level Blood Moon Breaches. And again, Blood Moon Breaches wouldn't work right now because we don't we barely have the armor to exist. And you want me to sacrifice another item that has rolls. That would be the worst thing I can possibly do currently. Right. Let's see how, how 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 it would basically work. You're not doing good damage to the blood surge, Necker. I'm 71, you get a good build. Yes, there's multiple builds. But like if you're 71, you're probably playing on the life servers, I would assume, and not on the test servers. So you should probably go for the other um should probably go for life server builds. Okay, let's uh, summon all the minions. Oh, I, I used all the corpses up. That's bad. Could you all please die so I can summon my minions? Accidentally used all the corpses up. almost killed me straight away that's not acceptable i mean like right now we're just dying to elemental damage but 
the actual um how do i put this now the actual resource is amazing so we we solved the we solved the complete resource issue that build usually has because again ne necromancer has a huge huge resource issue it doesn't exist anymore our damage is a bit on the lower end it's, it's kind of sad <laughs> it's funny how we're using up all the corpses oh uh a uh, bunch of bunch of go goblins 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 and we're, we're just simply not running out of resource <laughs> ever seen that chan okay that's oh nice that's good Oh, they're, they're, does the go goblin not despawn? Uh, sir? Sir, could could you please let us damage you? I'd be interested. Yeah, we're 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 unbeatable, so we'll never we'll never run out of out of out of, out of resource. Okay. Uh, what do we get for chest piece? Oh, we actually get a blood artist, the worst blood artist in the world. So that's horrible. I hate it. The pit needs to scale higher. No, because the game is uh, not working. I mean, we we just released a YouTube video on the pit, and if the pit would actually scale any higher, the game would break. The game is already close to breaking, anyways. You know, you you get to consider that we right now ha don't have the damage reduction to make the pit work. Resource solved by any damage? No, no, no. Resource is solved by essence per second. I think essence per second is way better than any aspect because these are just two like i have just a niner here and i have an eighter here and essence per second is solved i am getting i am getting like 20 essence per second and my blood surge costs 10 because we're currently having 48 percent resource cost reduction these things are incredibly easy to pull off so uh that's essentially how we solve any resource problem uh, now we need to put the right aspects on though because we don't have the right aspects on uh, we need to take the helmet and the helmet needs to get a cold hello a cold so that would be more skeletons of the aspect of hardened bones already on here we have the skeletal priest empowering us but that doesn't really work uh we have the bone storm giving us barrier mm. Yeah, I mean, like, we kind of need it because our biggest problem is that we're only at 12,000 armor. But we actually have 1,500 armor here, right? We have 1,500 armor here in total armor percentage. We have total armor percentage and total armor percentage. And yet, we can't get over 12k, which is actually really, 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 really sad in that regard. To not even be able to get higher in armor. It doesn't help that the gloves are essentially capped and we can't use them for anything. I um, mean, we could master work this further now. So if I master work this up, my armor would go up too. But I, I, I don't believe this is something to rely on, right? Because this is always my point. I've, I've master worked this now four times. I mean, obviously, I could invest more resources right now to push this further. But since it's only a five percent push per, like you notice this, right? We're at 12, 12, one now, and then we're going to be at twelve two. So it's like it's like slowly moving upwards. And if I'm getting lucky, 12-4. So if I if, if I'm getting lucky and we get the total armor percentage roll rolled, then you're actually getting your armor up without having to to invest much. So possible, right? You got cruise embrace and you're not sure what to think about it. It's free damage because you're finally using so do you have to look at cruise embrace while you're playing these gloves? because they're using corpses and those corpses they're using they're working with every necromancer use corpses skill okay see that's 20 percent total armor and suddenly we're higher so every skill from the necromancer that uses corpses for essence for bonus damage multipliers and so on that one is working with crew's embrace so you finally don't have to play 
um corpse explosion anymore in a in a blood surge build to actually make that work ta-da and suddenly we're at 13.3 armor that's actually kind of good 22,000 life 22,000 life is still kind of low because you can get actually so much life you can up to 30,000 plus life and it's not even that complicated to get that okay we have a lot of master working done we have the minions we have the occult dominion okay so that's occult dominion that's the attack speed we still uh, we need the double nova this is like it's hard to decide on what you actually want to have i mean do i want the attack speed on my weapon now because i could get a hundred percent bonus attack speed or i'm essentially choosing to go for the nova and just get that low but i almost believe the hundred percent bonus attack speed would be how high is my blood attack speed right now yeah let, let me let me put that on the freaking weapon for a 100 attack speed boost because that 100 attack speed boost is also going to go on the minions that's really interesting mm, and then the ring is going to get the nova That means if I actually do this with a 100% attack speed and the Paragon board, we can say, say, screw this one and rather move ourselves to the poison resistance. Wouldn't it be worth it to roll flat armor? You mean the 1,700 flat armor here and the 1,700 flat armor there, and, you know, <laughs> would Bertha was worth it to roll the flat armor? That's what we're doing. And right now, I think I think the two-handed weapon is not viable, sadly. And I, I really want to play the two-handed weapon, but I feel like we can't play the two-handed weapon because we're simply oh the butcher. That's so weird. <laughs> Interesting, I need more corpses Need to summon some more things My main concern is that we're kind of like not producing any corpses, really. Right? We're never running out of essence. Okay, that, that's funny. I remember we're, we're, we're essentially unable to run out of essence. It's, 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 it's just simply impossible. Minions are dying though. What I'm asking myself is uh, could we swap the mages over to uh, shadow mages so they would simply just be um, giving us another damage boost? So technically they should be getting my attack power. See, see like I can I can barely run out of essence. Hmm. I can run out of essence simply because I'm not making corpses. 
Okay, that's it's like from, from a damage standpoint, it's really silly. Uh, I have I have resource cost reduction uh, in total 60 plus percent, which is insane. Uh, plus we have essence per second on gear, right? I mean, this is currently only a tier 75 cavern, but if we would be going for a nightmare dungeon farm, tier 75 is more than enough. So you wouldn't farm actually anything harder. Um, that works. The damage is a bit low, I have to say, on the overpowers. I mean, we're not seeing overly millions of overpowers, but we're actually seeing quite quite the frequency of things. And don't forget that we're currently playing the Death Speaker's Pendant. That means all my minions are having a little Nova around them. So if I'm now gathering up around a boss and everyone is like standing close to the boss, then essentially like like everything is just pummeling into that boss, if that makes sense to you. Right? So so he's he's just he's just gonna be like bum, 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 bum. And that's what I'm currently trying to test out. I want to move towards like some end game shebang here. I mean, the funniest part is that you're actually using up all the corpses consistently. So that works out. Did you put it on this build for the pit? Well, we're going to be trying out the pit in a second. So don't worry about this. I just wanted to start with, um, we want to start with the normal nightmare dungeon just to get a feel for it. Yeah, this is, this is child's plane. I could need a boss to kill. It would be nice. Did Necromancer get buffed in season four? Not only a little bit, a lot, in every single way. Uh, Blood Golem gives corpses no. No, Blood Golem uh, gives you 30% damage reduction. That's why he's being played. So this dude is here. Um, this dude is 30% damage reduction that we kind of need to actually exist because this is the one 110 pit so my other summoner build does the 110 build like there's no tomorrow right uh my biggest problem right now is that i don't have feelingly the like i'm, I'm not using the little wall with this build so i don't see how i would stay alive the whole time right and we're also only having Thirty percent critical strike. See, see, like we're the amount of damage we're taking is quite, quite there. Boom, and we just get one hit. That's because we we don't have like the crazy amount of armor and everything. I guess I have to, to probably do a lower pit first to just kind of check this because one hundred ten might might be too much for this right now. Um, the way how I'm playing it. Wait, let's do let's do a lower pit just for testing purpose, and then. Um, Let's do a 76 pin. No, I want it. Interesting is like I'm trying to use corpses for my corpse tendrils, right? But I can't use corpses for my corpse tendrils. Why? Yeah, I feel like the two hundred weapon is not uh, viable. I feel so too. I, I, I feel so too, sir. But let's, let's, let's see. When we could add Littlest Wall to this, we could play uh, Necromancer with Golem only. Uh, my, my main problem is that Cruos Embrace is currently using up all the corpses. And I don't have corpses left for corpse tendrils. Ow, that almost kill me. Brain. Like I, I barely I barely have the corpses to actually make my minions, right? And I'm using up any corpse I create straight away, so I can't actually resummon my dudes. I mean it's good that I can literally just stand here and the amount of um overpower we have I, like the the attack speed we have is is uh, something especially as we really never run out of essence but it's ow i don't know how you kill me sir but it's kind of like it, intriguing to see that we never have a corpse for corpse central i mean like see there there i could force the corpse central now and then we can essentially sit next to this right and blast this away and we almost died to poison instantly 
I mean, that we're dying to poison instantly has also a lot to do with not having elemental resistance, right? Because I, I don't I don't actually have any elemental resistance going on right now. Yeah, okay. Like, it, it's working from a damage perspective, but we're dying. So what we're going to change is we're going to put the weapon away. And we're going to try the Lutless Wall now. Could go for an Iron Golem for the pull. Yeah, but then you're going to lose 30%... Um, so if you if you do the iron golem right now you're gonna lose 30 percent damage reduction and without those 30 percent damage reduction you can't do the higher pits it's impossible so we're gonna have to drop the weapon mm, and we're gonna play litless wall even with minions yes it's possible sounds a bit weird but you can actually play this very well with minions so let's master work this which would also provide us even more life and even more armor so it's quite a thing to play about that i think i think currently that uh blood surge might be better without minions simply because minions are making it a bit too complicated to play blood surge when I mean, blood surge is working with death speaker's pendants so you can get it to work not the not the point right uh just that it's like too many extra steps to to pull through okay we get this one up let's let's not master work it further let's just master work it like this uh, and then I need a weapon with essence cost reduction. That would probably be good. And this is overpower. This is attack speed. Attack speed we don't need. Actually, we could probably use overpower and attack speed. But let's see. Do we have anything fancy? Max life. Max life. Vulnerable. Let's overpower and critical strike damage. Attack speed. So the thing is that uh, like you get bonus bone storms right um with sacrifice bonuses but you could still get one bonus bone storm anyways so let's just take this one for overpower right now and master work this into uh, yeah we wanted to go for the nova size still hemorrhage Bloodlines duration. Hammerage. Sir, it would be great if you give me. Okay. Uh, like, that's exactly what I wanted. That's that's exactly what I wanted, chat. Didn't want anything else. Was totally looking for this. Okay, so we got this master worked and the hemorrhage explosion size got master worked. I'm I'm totally happy with that. This is this is absolutely what I wanted. Uh we can we can just teleport right back in. Let's get this together. And then. Yeah, so we can we can still do this. We we can still get our essence, but we're actually running out quickly. We need to get more corpses for our um, skeletons, because again, our skeletons are actually producing corpses, and the corpses our skeletons are producing are producing more corpses, and the corpses I'm using they produce essence. So it's all it's all like it's like all like intermingled. Or you need that quickly, and then we need to make more corpses quickly. Okay, so you die. Thank you very much we get the corpses problem is probably if you run out of um oh, that, that's that that was that was a nice little damage spree i like to see that oh god i died died to elemental damage still Would it be great to only learn the temper recipes you need i don't know what you mean like you need all the temper recipes you want all the temper recipes there's no situation where you're ever going to say i don't want that temper recipe um you always like every recipe has four tempers in it so so it's not like you can kind of cheese it that um like like so if you if you learn the blood temper the blood temper is always all four things there is no, there's no world in which the blood temper is not going to be these four things. Uh, I don't know how to say that now. 
Um, like you, you can't cheese the system essentially. Impossible. Okay, let's do this and see. Should be able to make one bonus bone storm even without. One sacrifice bonus, or do we need one? So no, we need, we need, we can make bonus bone storms without one sacrifice bonus. Yeah. I mean, it's still a rare occasion that this actually works out. Damage is just on the lower end. It's, it's like, despite, um, despite having all the minion, uh, no West coming like out of the minions, right? Still on the lower end of damage spectrum. I mean, we, we get the machine gun going out, right? That's fun. I don't actually have the bonus attack speed, right? I don't even have the bonus attack speed right now. Ah, I mean, blood search with minions does feel a bit, a bit iffy currently. It's kind of like I'm forced to play the Ring of Mandel. We could actually sacrifice the Ring of Mandel and not play that one. But that's just one more aspect. Feels like Blood Search will be better without minions. I mean, I was hoping for Blood Search Summoner to actually be good on higher levels. I think it's good for leveling. But I just don't see it right now doing well on the higher levels, right? I mean, it, it, can, it can do, it can work if you get all the pieces together. I just don't see it. But if you're not playing Cruise Embrace with... I'm trying to think about like, does Cruise Embrace make sense without minions? We're never gonna get the corpses. We could use the Golem. Right now I'm seeing it as a build where you would sacrifice the Reapers for resistances. You would sacrifice the mages still for the overpower bonus because the overpower bonus is too nice and the golem still for the critical strike could actually keep the golem but i don't think so there we keep this out that out and that out and we're higher our bonuses and keep all of this you probably can play the purse we're still pretty short on points which is actually interesting Fine. Gonna add Decrepify to this. Wow, we would even have one. We would want to have one point left over. So you could play the Golem just for the sake of having the Golem with a 30% damage reduction simply because we just have the point left over for the Golem, right? Right now, Elsa, I'm not going to start playing Hemorrhage. You don't need that. So you get the Search, you get the Decrepify, you get the Armor. That would at least make us sturdier to, to not die anymore. Um, then in the Paragon board, let's... We play more interesting things. I mean, you could play, um, what was it? Mm, damage for... No, it was actually no active minions, right? Haha. Uh -huh. Start playing control again. Once in a while, play control. You still play flesh eater because you're still consuming corpses, but your attack speed is so high that you don't need to look out of the window anymore. You could actually play amplify finally because we're using the curse again, right? So that is possible. You could use Bloodbath board still. So use your bloodbath board. And then you would do Sin of Death. So pretty pretty standard everything right nothing nothing too crazy out of the house 
and you would still go for Dominate. And for do 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 do. I mean the blood baguettes board, you would only you would only no actually you would go for the bone graph first. Because in the bone graph board you could activate the And then you could move over to Blood Baguettes. And then Blood Baguettes, you're only going in to pick up Overpower. It's actually really the only reason you're going into that board. Intriguingly enough, you could go into the Golem board if you actually play the Golem to whip out Helking Monstrosity. Because the, the fun part about the Golem board is that you can take this one. This node gives you armor and damage when the golem is active. Hmm. That would give us 16,000 armor and 24,000 life suddenly, right? Hmm. Turning 40 today, Black Razor. Congratulations and happy birthday, sir. Good to see you there. So then we activate this. We send in the Golem. During our Blood Surge. I mean, now we're finally getting like all the... Despite having that, like the Blood Surge damage is still quite... Quite low, surprisingly. Right? I need more time. Remember, we, we haven't gotten the... Uh, what was it called again? We haven't gotten the thingy going here right now. Yeah, it's, it's surprisingly low. I mean, it's 110 pit, right? The 110 pit. If my minions are doing enough damage, then they're doing enough damage. Hmm. And we still got the 20% damage reduction that stays. The boots thing is useless. Uh, oh, we don't have the double Nova. That makes sense. Oops. Don't have the double Nova running right now. So let's do, let's do that. Forget that part. We do need the, no, we have the double Nova running. We don't have the attack speed running. XP that is uh Rathmas chosen. Then we needed to drop that ring and get ourselves any other ring that has uh Can we have a ring that had overpower on it. For sure we had a ring that had overpower on it, right? Overpower. Your overpower. Reroll that poison resistance into critical strike chance. Well, that's quite, that's quite, that's quite good. That's quite good. Not even gonna complain. Magic is uh, we're gonna get grasping veins, probably. Well, that's the question. Is it now grasping veins or would it be a uh, critical? There is, there is, da 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 da. Technically, untimely death. Like each person of maximum life you heal beyond 100% grants you bonus critical strike damage on your next critical strike. <laughs> First grasping vein is still better. Yeah, our resistances are resistancing. Finally. Um, we are currently at. 2,000% overpower, so we get that back in action again. Oh, we got the... Bonus damage. And the bonus... Resource cost reduction. We temper it four times. Not more, just four times. 
PDR would be a week. Uh, the PDR is until the end of Sunday, uh, uh, 19th, uh, 9th. So two more days. Okay, so we are currently at 2,200. We still have the Bone Storm, so the Bone Storm thing is good. We technically have the Warrior thing that we don't need, but what else could we take for defensive aspect on helmet or utility aspect? Is there is there even like a good utility aspect left for Necro? And what do we have? We have defensive aspects and we have utility, but utility is what? Um, audacity, concussive, that's the daze thingy, that's explosive mist, that is frothing thingies. Void is still there, shared misery, blood getters, useless, copringers. Looting, that would be the unstoppable. Shebang. Tactic, nah. None, none really good. And from the defensive aspects, there's also none good. Unless we wanted to work on 20,000 armor, I guess. Right? Unless... I'm just randomly working on 24,000 armor. Just to try something. Okay. Oh wow, you just you, we just we just instantly died to like like the things. When you have your you have your barrier, right? That that works. The problem is like you're you're just instantly losing the barrier. That dude get overwhelmed. How overwhelming. The biggest, the biggest sadness is that, um, Blood Mist just has really no, no, uh, Blood Search has like no cooldown reduction going on because the lucky hit is abysmal, right? So you have like your Decrepify to potentially boost the Bone Storm lower, but this is on lucky hit and the Blood Search has a 13% lucky hit chance. So despite being like very low on the lucky hit chance and everything and kind of like being good and our damage reduction being like damage reducing uh, we, we just we just instantly died to some random to some random freezing effect right i mean th that dude hits us like with freezing when we get the damage we get the twenty four thousand armor right we get the frozen fully maxed out i mean this is this is like the 1010 um wow our barrier is not enough <laughs> This is this is very sad to see because I thought our um was it called again? I thought our other build was already less tanky. <laughs> oh wow. <clears throat> I thought our summoning build was less tanky, but it was working so well. Right? Holy do you think there's some kind of balancing issue? Um, it's not a balancing issue. It's it's a blizzard issue. So you can have all the damage reduction in the world and even play a shield as I do, right? And you're still going to get one hit. And the reason is just simply that blizzard has some issues with uh, getting the damage in comparison to all the other things. Uh, yeah, balanced against each other. Uh, it, is, it is definitely... Did I not open the... Nightmare Dungeon? Am I just blind and don't see the Nightmare Dungeon? So there, there is definitely something that Blizzard broke. Oh, here. Yeah, I, okay. Did it just take this long now to activate? I thought the gore... Weren't the gore ruins down here somewhere? I'm not crazy. I was looking for one that had a boss, but I don't remember which one had the boss. Okay, there's shift down. Villain Dog Company can't balance the game. The problem is that the minions are level 199. Okay. And that 199 seems to be like they, they don't they don't compute correctly in terms of elemental resistances. Because right now the maximum elemental resistance you can get is 70%. That's not true. With an instance, it can technically go higher. But let, let's say, for the sake of for the sake of things making sense, that seventy percent is the maximum elemental resistance you could get, right? And that maximum ele elemental resistance we could get um, is not enough to work against very high-level elemental resistance opponents, which is kind of bullshit because it should. 
I mean, why is my why is my maximum elemental resistance of 70% should should automatically prevent me from getting one hit? Right? I mean, I, I should still take vast quantities of damage from, from elemental damage at that level, but I should literally be able to not get one hit. I mean, as you can see right now, I'm facing like now standard opponents. This is a tier 73 dungeon ride. The enemies are level 127. Here, everything makes sense. Okay? Everything makes sense at this point. But as soon as you get like to tier 100 dungeons, so level 154 opponents, um, as soon as you reach that point, things like stop making sense to a degree. And that has been like since the incursion of the game, especially when it comes down to elemental damage. When you have like, you have to not forget that elemental damage used to be broken, right? Poison is very strong. Poison is overtuned and they know it. They, they acknowledge that already, that poison is uh, doing more than it's supposed to do. Um, so yeah. Fine. Uh, coming back to elemental damage. So, so you you should not forget that resistances used to be broken until season two, right? Yeah. Until until season two, resistances didn't work. So we we didn't actually have a way to elemental resistance, correct? And and now now they technically work, right? They technically work, but they are still not working in the higher levels. So resistances are technically resistancing now and you're helping. Uh, it's definitely helping more than not. But the higher level the opponent get, the less it seems to be doing, which is obvious, but it reaches the point where it's where it's non-existent again, right? And poison damage has been broken since the beginning of the game. Because no matter how much elemental resistance you have, so no matter how well your character is equipped to withstand anything elemental wise you are still getting your ass handed to you okay right now i have to say i am deeply disappointed in i'm deeply disappointed in blood surge i thought it was going to be cooler but yeah i don't think it's gonna be cooking this season chan like not not cooking as much as you would like it to and that has a lot to do like like for the pit it's definitely due to the damage you're taking because usually bone storm is enough to outweigh the damage okay so you're using bone storm with a bone storm barrier to essentially continuously have you buried up like be, be beyond 20, 24,000 life, right? So you double your life. The problem is if your enemies are doing so much damage that with one hit, they would tear your peria to paper and then you're being attacked by multiple opponents. You saw greater FA's 100% resistance. It doesn't matter. The cap is 70%. So it doesn't matter if you have more. I have 200% I have fire resistance, okay? I am still at 70%. So you cannot go higher than 70%. 70% is just the cap. It is it is what it is. That cap can be made higher by an instance by 5%. So you can then go up to 75%. But even that 75% wouldn't save you. Also, what does it use you to take one instance to boost up the resistance of one resistance to 75%? when you're facing more than one resistance because now you can get your resistance up congratulations correct but realistically you're fighting more than one elemental damage in a dungeon like you you have a you know you have a lightning you have a frost in the environment the bomb you, you don't you remember me from pubg yes pubg we used to play a lot of that okay so in in normal tier 100s you can definitely still play blood surge but for the pit, I'm not vibing it. It's kind of funny that a minion build would be stronger than a blood surge build for the pit. But it is, Chan. Right now, the minion build can be doing the pit more secure, better, without any issues. That's the second butcher that we're facing today. Let's activate our cool little armor.
it's funny how we're not running out of resource as long as there's corpses close by and and with a resource reduction see th this is still working right this is this is going very good but you know what i think i think we'll have to we'll have to say goodbye to the um blood search idea and we'll actually have to activate the full corpse explosion idea Here, let me let me do this I'm out of essence. I need more time. Yeah, against a single boss without um without much of a corpse production you're definitely running out of essence every now and then so that that was relatively simple i like that okay armor and health in this game is a controversial topic if i'm personally speed helps a lot if only for myself my builds every character and everybody's experience different well speed helps you that much but a one hit is a one hit Right? If you get one hit, you get one hit. Uh, oh, they, they can definitely clear. So I, I have seen this build, the Blood Surge build, clear tier 100 pits. So it's 100% possible to clear a tier 100 pit. It's out of question that, that they can do it. But Blood Surge just feels vastly worse than minions. I mean, let, let me just show you the difference, right? That was that was Blood Surge now in a dungeon, right? That was Blood Surge now versus a tier 100 pit. Didn't didn't feel like much, correct? Um. And now we're gonna take the summoner build. Our good old. Greetings. Our good old Greetings. summoner, and he gets his Mendel ring. And this summoner actually plays the temerity pens to to um to keep me healthy okay so i'm using a complete different style of barrier right now from the three builds of minions to theory crafted which one feels the best uh this one the one i'm currently playing and that, that this build is even one i didn't theory craft it is an abbreviation of the bone build uh, but an even better so so as you notice this this build straight up out of the house can still die I, I don't even know what i died to because there was nothing left there so this build straight out of the house can still die but it just just does more damage like look, look at the damage that that minions can just deal Min minions are just destroying everything boom everything is dead and then they just keep destroying everything and it's not even my damage right my damage is just boosting the minions which is not completely true i do actually a significant amount of corpse explosion damage on top of this because why not but minion, minions are just nasty i mean they're doing millions of damage hits i mean like like imagine you have 11 minions and each minion does million of damage hits what's the use of having a blood surge that can do a million of damage with one hit even two million i mean i i essentially have 11 times 11 times 1 million damage right but plus all the other fancy fancy damage they're dealing so you continuously like your minions go crazy and continuously your minions just do just do damage like there's no tomorrow while i'm i am zooming very aggressively through the game which is the fun part right because more minions is more movement speed Whee! I'm not ready. more minions is more movement speed and more movement speed is more zooming and that, that's what's essentially happening Whee! and then you have ginormous corpse tendrils that actually pull it everything together while yeah did i say your minions are insane and you have movement speed and if you almost die well that's okay because then you just heal up using your own skeletal priest and minions Woo! yeah so so how how is the how is the minion build more survivably than than the blood surge build and the answer is actually pretty simple because i don't i don't even have to remotely stand in anyone anymore right so I'm, I'm just i'm just hanging like back here i have my minions be like be like in the enemies doing doing the things minions do and that's like the, the funny part 
why high level pits minions are so effective because yes i still have to i still have to have a certain amount of defense because like i can get hit by random elemental damage and that will kill me right so you still need to protect yourself from random elemental damage and random physical damage assassins but as long as you have like a good amount of barrier and everything happening you're usually safe and then you just have your minions do the shielding especially since your minions are finally actually running ahead of schedule right but before before your minions never used to be running ahead of schedule but right now i enter a room and my minions are pushing into the room the bone spear summoner built yeah, the bone spear summoner was great but we actually kicked out the bone spear and made it an even more summoner so i, th I think the bone spear summoner could still be and i don't know what i died to so the bone spear summoner could still be superior in some ways due to this and there's actually some very interesting bone spear interactions because the bone spear summoner so the if you if you have your minions if you have your skeletons cast bone spear which is possible right so you can have your skeleton mages cast bone spear that bone spear that your skeleton mages are casting that bone spear can uh use your helmet so if you're using the deathless visage to actually enhance your bone spear and you have these deathless visage echoes then your skeletal mages are casting these echoes as well isn't that absolutely stupid but the good kind of stupid like not not the not the wow this is super no it's more like the oh my god this is so amazing yolo 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 i want more kind of stupid you know the kind of stupid you appreciate not the kind of stupid you hate you know not like well not not like dust devil barbarian blanketing the whole screen and you going blind because dust devils so and here would be the next problem with a blood search build right now right so what would a blood search build do in this scenario because a blood search build right now would have to stand right next to the boss and fight the boss while all these boss summon elemental shebang whatever things are happening right and i i asked the i asked my my little self i can just run around and avoid any of these weird damages and just have my minions do the job right so so i'm i'm literally avoiding all of these fancy pantsy super boss damages by running around where whereas all my other lads have to be like like as a blood search build i have to do the damage then dodge then do the damage to dodge while i'm just standing there and my minions are just they're just blasting right but yeah what we can try out now is something even more interesting okay so we can we can take the black river because we have litless wall chan and we have black river finally so we can actually temper black river completely this is a sadly a sad black river why is it a sad black river because uh this one barely has uh anything going on still though we have two things that are that is amazing okay so so despite this being a sad black river we're okay because there's something very cool going on and you want to know what's cool going on that you do actually have a tempering for corpse explosion so this tempering says that we are doing on this one uh 118 corpse explosion damage and 151 corpse explosion damage so we can essentially boost all our corpse skills as much as we can on every single item because right now a black river will give us corpse skills one two three that's a good thing right uh let's see actually how high that can go if you temper uh, if you master work it okay, that would be 25 percent. nothing happened green okay because you probably tried to temper one of the skills and none of the skills could get tempered Do you like the idea of bone prison in this build no i don't like the idea of bone prison at all the problem with bone prison is that bone prison can keep away enemies okay bone prison can keep away enemies but that's it 
I mean, if an enemy is in a bone prison, he can still do his random elemental damage to hit you. If an enemy is in bone prison, he can he can still he can still jump out of it to attack you. So bone prison is the least useful actual defensive skill. Because yes, sure, it's locking enemies inside. But yeah. Is the minion AI better now? Yes, the minion AI is better. Not not fantastic, but better. Okay, so we can hire the ranks of corpse guilds by one with the master working. So that's nice to see. The intelligence is getting higher. And the rank by Hude Flesh got actually increased just from upgrading. So we can get three ranks in Hude Flesh maximum. And we can get five ranks in corpse guilds from this. That's quite nice. Okay, so if we're if we are lucky. Um, and this would be a higher corpse skill rank. We could go up to five ranks, two ranks, hood flesh, and two ranks fueled by death. <sighs> sure, this could get a bit stronger. Then we would still need... We still need this. We actually master work this completely through now. And we're already going to do this. We're going to master work this completely through. I will say this from all of us from chat, but please make this build a video. I mean, you, you will have videos, don't you worry. You will have level videos, you'll have everything. When we already have the summoner as a complete video with everything updated and all the temperings and all that kind of stuff. Don't, don't worry. You already got it going on. And I'm going to make a new one, a perfect 1 to 100 video. Okay, that's 29 maximum essence from this. What the fuck? That's crazy. Let's refund this board and we're going to do a bone spear. That's important. So we do... Exhumation. Still. So what we're trying right now is, after the blood search failed, to actually make one where our bone spear is going to be the most possible bo bone spear corpse explosion um, nuclear necro. Currently the plan. Okay. The nuclear necromancer. Bone graft. Not sure if I will need essence on kill from this. Essence glyph. And um, what we need is. Some essence. Mm, send of death. We're just we're just making it work right now to just see how well it actually would do. My main goal is to see how high I can go corpse explosion wise. All right, how how high can we go? Hmm. Essence in already. Let me let me just take for a second. Uh, territorial. I want the damage reduction from territorial. We have 34 points left. I could activate another paragon board, which is actually kind of funny. And the next paragon board you would actually activate is the bath. Don't even know for what glyph. Activate exploit for once in a while. Okay. Still 13 points left that we can 
squeeze in some some survivability right so you can just make some some, some, some more survivability some essence from here okay so that would be black river litless wall we would sacrifice our uh defenders for resistance mages for vulnerable damage yep uh golem for critical then we would remove the ring of mandel and we would have to take that and I have the critical strike damage damage ring on the other build. What build is this? The nuclear necro. We're redoing the nuclear necro for fun to see how good it is. Ilbeard, think of the 69 centuries of support. Ilbeard. Fantastic to have you there. Hope you're doing well. We get this ring that was resource, critical strike, critical strike, resistance. Yeah, sure. I mean, the resistance, we're going to probably reroll into something else because we really don't need that. Because we're actually resistance out. Resistance out. Right. We need a new pair of gloves. Look how fast he's changing the board compared to Xbox. I mean, yeah, controller is slower. I mean, so price. Blood Surge failed. Blood Surge didn't fail. I think Blood Surge is going to still make a fantastic level build. Blood Surge failed in the regard that... Uh, There's just better stuff out there for the end game. What can I say? Okay. Are we going to play exposed? So are we going to play exposed flash or something different? Couldn't pans get uh, decompose pans couldn't get anything. Wow, miss that. Couldn't boot scan. No, they couldn't get two. Where can we get corpse skills on? Core skills. A corpse explosion doesn't count as a core skill, right? It's still a corpse skill. Chest has five ranks in corpse explosion, which is insane. And helmet could get. Hmm. I mean, this could get here. We could get even more in gloom, death, embrace, evulsion, fueled by death, and perfectly balanced terror, gloom. So also not really like the only corpse skills we can get is a ring, chest. I mean, that's plus eight. Then here we can get a plus. Wow, we can actually get plus five. So so the Black River could give us five. Then we could get five. That's another 10 rings. And we could get three here. So we could get 13 rings like that. Well, we're currently at 15 out of five. Right? That's nasty. Our amulet is giving us 151% corpse explosion damage. And our gloves are giving us 118 percent corpse explosion damage and we have 29 essence plus here uh we get the we'd have to get exposed flesh probably aspect of the exposed flesh we would probably have to get that right um the boots would have to get we wouldn't play essence boots that's like it's the problem that's the question do we want to play essence production boots Go over. Try rings. Can rings get rings to skills? No, I don't think rings can get rings to skills. Not mistaken. We definitely have to get Deathless Visage, that's for sure. But here, these boots are just too good to not share with, with the account, right? And these boots are insane. 
Yeah. So Sacrilegious Ring gives you three rings into Corpse Skills. I think it could give up to four four rings. Yeah, four rings. But honestly, five, five, and three is insane. That would bring us up to 18 already, just like that. Boom. Uh, that's that's crazy. Right now, my boots are giving us ma ma match mastery. Yeah, we, we can replace this through here. Essence per second. Was there a stat we could reroll on this one? Skill to mage mastery. Yeah, into... No, corpse skills. Boots can give you corpse skills. I wasn't crazy. Give me corpse skills. I will do everything in my power until I get corpse skills. And if it's going to cost me my whole account, if this is the last thing I do, give me corpse skills. I need you to hand me those right now. Give them to me now. I mean, seriously, it would be really cool if you could actually give this to me because right now I'm at the point where I'm kind of like trying to get these corpse skills, but you're literally not even showing them to me. I mean, seriously, he's, he's like actually not not even showing this like as if they don't exist. I'd only get to see skill to mage mastery. Bring me back to the point that I would really like to see three skills instead of just thank you very much. I appreciate it. So that's another two. That means I can get two on the boots. I can get five on the chest. I get three on the amulet, so so that is 10. And then I get another five on the Black River. That would be 15. And on the amulet, again, we could get... Just fueled by death. So we can get 15 plus without a Shaco, which would instantly bring us up all the way to 20 total ranks. That's kind of nice. Okay, we got 17 ranks in here. <laughs> ah, 17 ranks is just crazy. Uh, we get another six points. Oh, that's luxury. The last time I've had six points left over is crazy. Which is actually not true. I have six points left over. Uh, technically, we need more ranks into Bone Spear, but I'm probably going to like choose to not actually main Bone Spear because we're maining Corpse Explosion. Bone Spear is just like the byproduct that just does Bone Spear things. Right? It's hard to get all the points in nowadays. Oh, we get Gruesome Mending. Why not? That's like four points in Bone Spear if I wish to. Okay, that would be Bone Spear. We get the Paragon board. We get Bone Spear here. We got... Oh, we need... Oh, I just forget that we need Blood Mist. Uh, well. So few, so many skills, so few skill points. Okay, we get everything, Chad. Uh, we need to... Wait. I need to change the helmet. Yep. Because I got a really cool one, chat. Look at this. This is a Deathless Visage, right? Which actually shows the bonus right now, and that's super cool. Uh, but this one was a max roll on damage reduction. Sadly, we can't actually use it because I need the other Deathless Visage. Now let's master work that shit to see to see how far does this go. What, what comes what comes out of this beautiful piece of helmet when you actually master work it? So we got it to have more damage reduction. The essence is going higher. We're at 17 maximum essence from this. It could be 19, right? Uh, this is at 19 maximum essence, which could be 20. Uh, it is at bone critical strike damage and maximum physical damage plus, which is also very interesting. Okay, could you please get your last master work done? Thank you very much. Could you please get that done? Chat wants to see the result. Thank you very much. So that is 10% damage reduction bonus and 27% uh, critical strike. Okay, that is 20 Essence. I mean, we're currently getting 29 Essence back here, 20 Essence there, and 10 maximum 15 Essence there. Okay, so, so that, that would be 15. But that's still, that's a reasonable amount of Essence Plus 
considering that that's how how necromancer works right i mean ev everything everything in bone spear is about having maximum essence too for like the ossified essence shebang and everything i mean we need to get grasping veins somewhere so do i have a grasping veins currently max roll grasping if i break this one down right now do i get the 24 percent? i really don't want to break it down my, my my codex of power was max rolled already chan i'm sorry uh it just literally got min rolled because of the why can i not oh jesus it just got min rolled because i had to make new accounts to get more crystals and i think we all agree right veiled crystal issue by the way chan uh if you're asking for a a full wrap-up of season four video correct i'm waiting for the full wrap-up um un until the test service is over and then I'm going to sit down and I'm going to put it all together in, in like terms of what do I think? Like master working, tempering, the pit, tormented bosses, veil crystal issues, hell tight, leveling, um, itemization in general, the affixes, like, like all that kind of stuff in like one big 30 minute video where we wrap everything together. And I think like, is season four going to save the game or not? That's, that's a little bit my plan. And then we'll see we'll see like how much how much we can all agree on things together or if we can't be friends anymore i think right now what i like to see what what i like what i like is right now the community seems to be more or less of a unified opinion do you think so too john i kind of i kind of personally feel like that people are more, more or less we agree you know it's not like that we generally disagree like yeah we're we're, we're all we're all kind of cool with each other we're all kind of liking what, what people have to say right so that's cool um can i have pans what can i have pans be right now a thirteen thousand armor i'm just go for juggernaut at this point Okay, so damage reduction. We have 10% damage reduction here. We have 20% damage reduction there. We get another 4% damage reduction from from like from our exhumation. Then we get another 10% damage reduction from being fortified. We get another 20% damage reduction from decrepify, and we get another 15% damage reduction from bone storm. So technically, we should be so heavily damage reduced that nothing can stop us anymore. Technically. But are we? Are we though? Season four has saved the game and very important, right? Um, we don't even know the season four theme or well, we, we haven't seen the season four theme. I'm not ready. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm forgetting the aspect. I'm an idiot. I forget the aspect of barrier. The barrier aspect. No. No wonder that 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 didn't work out the way it should. I'm going back. We're coming back in a second. Is Golem DR better than Decrepify? You need Decrepify for the cooldown reduction on the Bone Storm and the Corpse Tendrils to permanently Bone Storm and Corpse Tendril. I'm an idiot, idiot, idiot. I'm a very stupid person that forgot the barrier. Someone please shoot me in the face in a friendly way. I forget the bone storm barrier thingy. That means we have to say goodbye to Juggernaut, I guess. So where else could we put it on, right? I mean, Chilling Storm goes only on the pans right now. Because we do need the 20% damage reduction there. That's like too good to not have. Yeah, you, you're still getting one shot. Like, like no matter. Do you see the crafting system going live as is? If the crafting system goes live with the random chance to fail, I think it's going to be a disaster. 
Now, well, not a disaster, but I think it's going to be way less positive received than it could have. And I dislike this because I, I want it to be received very good, right? I want this change to be the thing that takes it. Wow, okay, we do, we just get Elemental destroyed. Um, I, I, I want this to be perceived as the the next big, big step for Diablo. But I can't see it being that way if we if we still work with this random resistance. These dudes are taking significant damage without dying. I mean, we're, we're killing them, so that's not the issue. And our corpse explosions are doing significant damage, right? When you see like, you see like random three, two, five, six, seven, eight million. So the, the damage is actually really good. That's, I don't know what even killed me there. <laughs> I literally don't know what killed me there, but I'm I'm surprised how f few it matters. Or let's say let, let me say this different. I'm surprised how much less damage this is compared to what my summoner does. I mean, see, see, like the damage is good, correct? Like the bone spears, bone spearing, the corpse explosions are corpse explosioning. I'm barely making any corpses despite my lucky hit being very good. Do I have food flesh? Yeah. I mean, despite that and despite this and like, hmm, intriguing. But the main problem is in stays again. Did you notice how my life just vanishes? So we're playing the cool bone storm barrier thing, right? And we're, we're expecting our bone storm to to essentially grant us the barrier that makes us invincible because that's what we're used to right this is this is what you're mainly used to to have a bone storm barrier that makes you undying i mean our our um essence is is unstoppable so that's good but yeah so so you're used to having like a bone storm barrier that makes you undying uh and it's not working anymore That's like the greatest upset for Necro, essentially. That you're having this this grand scheme that of survival going on, or usually, and it's not enough. That's uh Yeah. It's kinda like what Necro relies on, you know? I mean, currently we're missing some gems. We have only have 21,000 life. So if I had the gems in here, we'd be at 25, 26,000 life. Uh, if I would put armor gems in, we would also be armored higher because we get our resistance resistancing, right? So so that's something to actually consider right now. These are the, wow, instant dead. Instant dead to elemental damage. This is only PDR. A few people are getting their hopes up a lot. Yeah, but even if the PDR would release like this, so if the PDR would release in its current state without a single change, so you would just take the PDR and jam it out, it, it would be good. Like this is this is very important. If if the release would be exactly like this right now, nothing changes. It would still be 100% better than the game we have. Because you have to consider that all these changes are coming to the game plus the seasonal mechanic. So all of this plus seasonal mechanic, which which is quite quite nice to see. Yeah. Um and that that's 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 good. But we're obviously gonna not get these changes just like this. So again, we're we're gonna get these changes. By the way, let me um let me see if my barrier is enough. So this is 100. Uh, let me do a 99. Um, so yeah, again, like like even if this chains are coming in, this, this it would be better than what we have right now. But it wouldn't be it wouldn't be the Diablo 2.0 we're looking for. Okay. Where's Black River coming from? Do real. So so one important one important thing like like the the um the aspect changes for example are very good but one thing that we're missing for example is that damage reduction 
So the only way to get damage reduction right now is over Uni gear, over Paragon board, and if you're actually having a shield. So this is like the only way to get damage reduction, and that's not enough because you notice right now that despite like again I have 15% from from my bone storm. So I have bone storm on 15%. I have my curse on 20%. I have my helmet on 10%. I have my shield on that gives me like just just some damage blocking for being a shield, right? Um, so so all, all, all of these DRs I have going on. Plus then maximum uh, elemental resistance. Then we get some damage reduction against close enemies uh, because I have I have the um, I have a paragon glyph for that. Uh, we get the damage reduction for fortified, which is 14% currently. This is the I can't get more. Okay, this is the most I can get. That, that, that's it. That's the damage reduction I can essentially whoop out of my head. Um, and I can't, I can't get more damage reduction than that. And it's not enough. That means that either the enemies are overtuned or I need damage reduction tempers. And this is something we need to, we need to discuss now. What would you like, guys? Would you like to have damage reduction back on gear? Or would you like to have damage reduction tempers? Because right now I feel like that could be an answer if defensive gear could have damage reduction temper. Because if defensive gear now could have damage reduction temper, that might be something. By the way, these enemies here are 198. Do you notice how 198 opponents are possible, but 199 opponents are one hitting me? Okay, again, this is this is 190. Eight, so it's a tier 99 and the next jump is these 199 opponents so we notice that like lamenta one hit right but we notice that something is going on again with the with the scaling of opponents right the thing is if we get tempers okay oh by the way i have another 18 percent damage reduction for my skills i i forgot chan we have another 18% damage reduction for sacrificing all our minions. So I, I do actually have more damage reduction than other people can physically get. Okay. Important. Um, so yeah. But despite all of this damage reduction, uh, like like I can die. Right? But yes, um, uh, if you if you now have tempers on like if you have damage reduction temper, the good thing would be that you have a choice. So you could say I want or I don't want. So if you feel like you need it, um, like for example, for the uh, for the gauntlet, for the gauntlet, you wouldn't need the damage reduction, so you wouldn't temper it on your gear. But then you would have a set of gear for pit diving, where you want to go for the higher levels of the pit, and for the higher levels of the pit, you would then have gear that is tempered more towards damage reduction, right? Because that's what you're looking for, essentially. I mean, if you're if you're relying on rolls again, then you would have to find the gear. So so that that's like kind of the thing, right? So if if we, if you would rely on rolls, if you would say, okay, how about um like rolls instead of tempering? I, I can't I can literally not survive this right now. Um, so if you if you rely on rolls for tempering, um, then then you would have to get it, right? Whereas if you have it if you have it as temper, you could choose to put it at any point on. Right? So it's kind of like, I need bonus, so I'll just put it on this piece of gear. Kind of like the thought of that, because then it's not down to merely RNG anymore to get the damage reduction I'm looking for. But it could also create like this damage reduction on demand. Then again, it, it could create the damage reduction on demand. So I'm not sure if this is good or bad, because if I can get damage reduction on demand, then then I have finally, I have control over the game, right? It's, it's not random anymore. If I survive, it's kind of like I choose to survive and that's good. If you know, if like, does that make sense? Right, because if, if you then choose to take the damage reduction, you, you have it like in your hands, you have your own survival in your hand, you have agency over your own survival, which I, which I feel is like a good thing. By the way, as good as this build right now is, as good as this build is kind of working, right? Um, the minion build is better. It's actually <laughs> minions are minions are S tier now. 
The only build that performs better than minions is Infinity Mist. Why Infinity Mist? Because you just don't get hit, right? So, so the only build that could perform better than minions is is the build that essentially doesn't get hit. Okay, so now Bone Spear. Chat, Bone Spear versus a boss. Uh, we have to dodge the constant ministrations of those uh, boss summons. We're making corpses. We're doing good damage. We have the bonus bone storms happening. So we do have a lot of um, area. So our barrier is constantly buried out. We're not doing as much damage again as our... We're, we're not we're not doing as much damage as our minion build that's it's actually really funny i mean we're doing good damage right so so ow this is working out we're we're damaging him we're slowly getting him down uh but but compared to our minion build this is like almost tedious right Ow. Ow. Interestingly enough, like, would you see the Black River right now, correct? That we currently have. The Black River is actually part of the minion build. So, so like, you, you would say, hey, full corpse explosion build, kind of cool with, um, with Bone Spear. The, the funny part is that the actual full corpse explosion build i would play is actually utilizing minions and why would it do that because if you boost minions okay if you reasonably boost minions then they have so much attack speed that they are producing so many corpses that bone spear simply can't right because right now you would say okay bone spear with a high lucky hit chance and bone spear with a fueled by death would actually produce an amazing amount of corpses right so you would be like yes corpses woo uh, but you notice that that's actually not the case bone spear is producing an okay amount of corpses but not like an incredibly amount of corpses whereas surprisingly or unsurprisingly if you actually choose to play minions Minions are, minions are creating an incredible amount of corpses. How is, how is minions just the best build? This is, this is, this is crazy. The only, the only advantage that Bone Spear still has left is essentially playing, playing the Littlest Wall. Right? So, so that, that's like the only advantage that this has left right now aka we are playing the littlest wall and the littlest wall oh no <laughs> oh, the littlest wall provides us essentially with barrier but the barrier is not constant right bloodless movement speed bloodless movement speed is great I am I'm simply bamboozled by the fact how how much weaker this is performing. So this was this was now like looking at Black River trying to kill a boss, right? What we can do is to make to have the direct comparison. So this was the Black River trying to kill a boss. So now let's let's swap on our Ring of Mandel. Uh, let's get our Temerity pants. Let's got our actual boots that we're playing. You know what? These boots might actually be better to play, but no, we're going to keep this. Uh, the gloves are staying. The chest is staying. And the helmet is going back to be my circlet of corpse explosioning. So all of these are going back. So it's more or less the same build, right? N not much actually has changed. And we're now getting this offhand. So we got like 28,000 life. We get a bit more. Then we're going to be... Uh, this one stays the same. We're actually neutering it. To remove the corpse skill, we get even more armor, which is actually the funny part. We're removing the damage reduction. Removing this. 
get this popping and that popping we remove this and we get that we remove all of these useless skills we can actually get this we can get bonus healing um and we can get the golem mastery up oh no we're missing the mage get the golem mastery missing the mage uh ah yeah we don't have blood mist so we're getting the golem mastery up so th this would be this would be like the difference okay so this is like the different things uh then we would have to reset the paragon board so that's the the skill tree being different and our our board looks like uh minions decrepify up 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 and then we get essentially skeletal reapers in we get skeletal mages for the bonus shadow damage multiplier and we get the golem for the 30 percent damage reduction right so that's winions then for the paragon board which is the fun part the paragon board is almost the same because what do we do chad we still go for the max intelligence play where you're essentially getting um the exhumation glyph so you're still taking the exhumation glyph to actually boost everything because simple matter of fact it's just insane and then you're still taking the flesh eater the only difference is that we need to boost the poison resistance now because else we die if we, <laughs> we don't boost the poison resistance we die and then we still go for crit because our corpse explosion can crit And we're still going for corporal to give us amazing amount of movement speed see this movement speed alone this movement speed is missing right that movement speed is missing in the other build then you can go for cold leader and the cold leader board which is double interesting again because what does the cold leader board do chad the cold leader board provides us with dead razor which is another whenever you and your minions deal damage to an enemy that enemy takes increased damage and that up to 15 percent 15 15 it's a significant bonus because it is 15. it's actually a lot right 15. have i said 15 yet yeah, 15 is a lot. Pony is turning things in a circle. Okay, yep. Yeah. Well, I remember we actually needed to take this. Oops. Because we need the shadow resistance from that one. Yeah, it, lo it looks plenty weird, but the problem is you do need the shadow resistance. And we do need uh, Undaunted. Like this, this is like weird shit you have to play. So I'm literally forced to play Undaunted because if I wouldn't play Undaunted, Chad, then we would actually take too much damage. So I'm literally so forced to take like that bonus damage reduction to actually survive. I have 43 points left. Which board is missing? What, 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 what are you missing here, Chad? What, what is it? Oh, Essence Glyph. We're missing the Essence Glyph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I needed to go for this, and we wanted to go over the uh, hulking monstrosity. Yeah, we wanted to go over the bloodbath board, and the reason for that is, is the bloodbath board provides you with dexterity for days. We actually screwed this one up and then hulking monstrosity because the hulking monstrosity supports you with armor if golem is goleming the interesting part is that we have so much intelligence right we need to go every single dexterity node possible so if you could choose to essentially go over dexterity instead of intelligence in, in, in any like in any situation where you would say you know what dexterity instead of intelligence 
and then again the, the same goes like here could i could i take um could like take this dex node right you would take it whenever whenever you have the choice to essentially take a dexterity note because, because you have so much intelligence through your gear that you would essentially like just take every single potential dex note on the way to to get the most out of it like you need 450 dex so so again if i'm like that's dex 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 so that's that's good there's in and in end There's Dex. That's Dex Dex. I mean, technically, there's Dex Dex, right? This is Dex Dex. Technically, this would be... Instead of going here, you would take one, two, three, and then remove these three. You still have to take that one intelligence point, actually. To go over more Dex nodes. And then instead of taking that intelligence, you would take that... Dex note as well. So you want to have like as much dexterity as possible, right? To have like that 450 dex. What does my resistances say? My resistances are currently all over the place. Yeah, that's the that's the only problem because in in this board here we're forced to we're forced to not take the armor shebangsies. We need to wibble wobble them out. Even though they're good, we need to take the fire and the gold, the ruby, fire, and topa, um, uh, amethyst. No, uh, which one is the cool one? That fire. Um, yeah. So then you're there, and the only one you don't have is shadow. And we would be missing another 9% for life. So that is now that is now the Black River. So we get the Black River in, right? And we're missing a gem. Uh, we got Corpse Tendrils. We have a Frenzied. Yes, we actually do need Frenzied. So we have a high roll on Frenzied item. That's the lowest low roll possible. That's the lowest. Do I not have like a higher roll on Frenzied? Oh no. Oh no. Dislikes. Actually, mm, 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 unyielding. I have a better unyielding commander. Unyielding. Yeah, that's the max roll. I wanted to put unyielding on my amulet. Uh, actually, no, still frenzied on the amulet because it's better to constantly have more attack speed for this build. Frenzied that comes still on there, and the things are gonna take unyielding. And then th this is occultist. That 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 is priest. Boom, and we're perfect. So this is now this is now perfect, okay? And we would have to go for the boss. Oh no, no, don't close this. We're going for the same boss where we were before. So so the plan is okay, what's the plan right now? What's the difference, Chan? So we, we get our minions running. Let's actually summon the minions for a second. So we just have them going. So you have your minions, you have your army of the dead, and your army of the dead is making corpses. Yes. It's actually true. So your army of the dead is making corpses. These corpses are being exploded five at the time. Okay. While they're making corpses, your minions are having currently an attack speed bonus of 25% plus, plus the constant attack speed bonus from here, which is 56% up to 68. So they're already at, they're already at 25 plus 68%. And then they're getting another 36% from Kalen's Addict. Okay, so your minions are at 100% attack speed continuously while they're actually every sixth attack doing a super critical explosion. Okay, so now you have a Black River happening with Fueled by Death 
that's boosting that explosion from your minions. But at the same time, that field of death, fueled by death super explosions gives me super corpse explosions. And my corpse explosions is currently at 15 out of 5 ranks. Okay, 15 out of 5 ranks due to my stuff. While my mages are actually being boosted by 5 bonus ranks, and that can go up to 10 bonus ranks as well. It's kind of spread between warriors and mages currently, right? Uh, then your mages, then your warrior, then your, then your skeletons are currently getting the 40% damage boost that I'm getting as well. But more importantly, they're actually getting cold leader and cold leader is currently 150% bonus damage. So, so your minions are getting 150% multiplicative bonus damage while they're also with unyielding commander getting another 100% bonus damage. So your minions are already getting a 250% multiplicative damage multiplier. So you're just activating this. Oh, and then uh, due to due to having the critical strike damage bonus happening from from corpse tendrils, they're actually getting the corpse tendril thing happening, right? So so they're they're just getting uh, the super corpse tendril bonus, and they're just attacking everything, and they're just doing. Ow! I accidentally died. So they're they're just doing immense damages while I'm just chilling there, right? But I'm just running circles around the boss. I'm making sure to not die. I have my temerity currently, sadly not 80%, but I'm at 26,000 life. I would be at 30,000 life with the two gems in because it's 18% more life. So I would be at 30,000 life and my temerity would provide me with 27,000 barium. <sighs> Four corpses. And then due to the insane attack speed bonus, what is happening is that your minions are essentially making so many corpses. Look at the amount of corpses there. Do you, do you see the amount of corpses? Usually you would say, hey, Pony, you could never Black River explode constantly five corpses. But that's wrong. I can. I can Black River explode constantly five corpses because that's what my lads are doing. The most important part, though, is that you're doing a stutter step. Because if you're actually walking the whole time, and this is a little bit stupid. So if I'm walking the whole time, um, then... What happens is that the minions are constantly following me, correct? But if you're like doing this kind of stutter stab, then they keep fighting. Right? From testing Sanctuary Discord, pe uh, people are saying that minions are not getting the tendril bonus. The tendril bonus is for the minions in terms of Black River. So the minions are not getting the corpse tendril bonus yet right now, which they should because it would actually boost their critical strike damage, shebang. But what they're getting is they're still getting the 50% higher critical strike damage with a ring of men down. One downside of the Black River is that you're currently missing out on critical strike damage. Because right now I have 542% critical strike damage bonus, right? So I have critical strike damage on my um, gloves. But due to playing the two rings, you're essentially missing out on critical strike damage bonus. That's also a thought why you not want to play the ring of sacrilegious souls, essentially. Because if I would play a normal ring, like this one here, that's 65% critical strike damage, which is kind of nice, right? And 58% damage. So you kind of miss out on the masterwork and the tempering. But mm, the weapon as well is kind of like, well, this is the weapon I usually play. That's another 81% critical strike damage. It's, it's, it's kind of nice, right? What you actually can quite quite get. And you're missing out on the cool skill to mage uh, master temper thingy. By the way, that reminds me, can I take this one to the temper yard right now? How many tempers do I have left on this? Because I would want to have the... We get damage. I would want to have the... Minion thingy, right? And instead of the elemental surge. I want to have the Skelter Priest effect duration. Nah. Nah, I mean, nah, that's 50% longer. It's actually kind of nice. Okay, yeah, I'm sure you could take that. And then you would take all your lads. This is a 111 right now, right? And just, just to give you a feeling for how different this is, 
um, to to the Bone Spear, right? The Bone Spear was struggling with standard minions. And with this one, you're already just like... You're just, you're just going. The minions are just killing everything. It's beautiful. Oh, I forget to use my priest in between. The minions are killing everything. I'm getting healed. You know, I'm just, I'm just essentially chilling on the sidelines while this is happening. It's, it's, it's like minions, minions are just beautiful. And you reap again. Everything dies. I will have to say that you do notice that um, the crits are a bit lower, but not to not to a point where it's annoying. And the minions are getting a bit sturdy at 111. So 111 is actually from a from an HP standpoint quite quite sturdier compared to the lower ones. So so I'm talking about 105 and 100. Things were dying vastly faster, which is actually kind of cute because this is what I wanted to see, right? So, so higher, higher pit tiers are essentially just sturdiness. It's not damage anymore because, like, once once you survive this level of damage, right, you're good to go. There, there's nothing like like once once you're like, okay, I generally survive this. I mean, apart from the um, apart from the issue with the with the elemental damage and the one hits. But if you like generally survive, then from that point on, it's only going to be a question of. Yeah, do, 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 like, do you do enough damage, right? And for that, master working comes in, right? I mean, like, see that elemental damage, by the way, almost killed me there. <laughs> so from that point on, it's like only do you deal enough damage? Do you have everything master worked? I mean, right now, this is missing like uh, this is missing eight master works. This is missing another six masterworks. So, so we're, we're obviously like not fully capped out on our gear. We don't have the greater affixes. So that, that's that's where all your damage comes from, right? So so if, you, if you're wearing an amulet, you technically want at least a double greater affix amulet. If you're if you're wearing um, like like if you if you, like if you have a black river, th this is something, by the way, we didn't we didn't talk about. This is a black river, correct? That gives me two ranks to corpse skills. Well, I mean, so so I like you you do know that this black river can have a greater affix, and this these two ranks to corpse skills could be six ranks to corpse skills instead, and you could master work them up to ten. Okay. See these these corpse skills, uh like these plus three corpse skills, they could be plus six corpse skills there too. So, so the thing where I said you could get plus 20, right? Um, yeah, you, uh, uh, I can, I guess I can easily reach plus 30 to a degree, you know, on, on corpse skills alone. Uh, the same goes with skeleton mage mastery. So your skeleton mages can get like this here, right? Skeleton mage mastery plus two. Every rank of skeleton ma mage mastery is 20% more damage for your mages. Well, the thing is, you can also get a greater affix off Skeletal Mage Mastery, which then is plus four or five rings. And that's another 100% damage multiplier for your mages. Um, to their actual normal base damage, not to their Ring of Mandel, right? Still, though, that, that is possible. So, so you're, you're, we're, we're literally, like, just scraping the barrel of the things that could happen. Right, this is this is me doing like tier 100 of the pit with gear that it's that, it, that that I'm technically not supposed to use here, right? So I'm I'm just I'm just like poking in the dark. See my my um my often has currently uh, critical strike chance, maximum life, and intelligence. Right, nice. But the thing is, these the critical strike chance it has of 12 percent that got master worked. Uh, could actually be a critical strike chance of 20 percent right the maximum life it has of 1000 oh yeah that maximum life could go up to i think with greater affix up to like 1900 so so there's there's like literally so much more still to be achieved continuously by your gear right 
and that's that's also how you're then supposed to kind of reach the highest levels of the pit so when you say oh man i i can't like i can't get higher in the pit well they're like you can get so much better gear to go higher and now think about this also for for the leaderboard because this is just me talking about the actual pve content right so now now we're looking at leaderboard content uh that means that like you know you could get movement speed instead of the standard movement speed affix you could also get a movement speed affix that would many times over just be better So currently as funny as it sounds but the one of the s tier builds is minions undeniable to be honest right so one of the actual necro s tier builds is minions then the next the next best build is shadow or the equivalent good build is shadow because shadow right now is bugged but even in not bugged Shadow is really good because lucky hit chance can be pushed really high. So let's let's assume you're currently playing um Let's assume you're playing what was it called again? Xfelt's corroded signet. So Xfelt's corroded signet was working with lucky hit chance, right? To do shadow damage. So the thing is you can actually do more more lucky hit augments on your gear for lucky hit shadow damage procs so you can actually make on on three pieces of gear you can have a lucky hit chance proc to to do more shadow damage then you have the even pierce amulet which is actually bugged but let's ignore that one uh, but the shadow damage you do which is lucky hit chance for shadow oh by the way i died so so the shadow damage you do that is lucky hit chance for shadow and do more lucky hit chance but the thing is how high you can get lucky hit chance so alone this one has an 11.3 percent right then this one is currently 15 percent critical strike chance on my offhand um the 15 percent critical strike chance could also be 15 percent lucky hit chance correct and the same goes kind of like for your gloves so you could easily get like the 45 percent lucky hit chance then i think you can get more lucky hit chance on different portions of gear right now so so that in general like it's easier to actually get lucky oh god i just walked into that so it's easier to get lucky hit chance right now correct minions good now yes minions are fantastic i mean you do see me dying versus that boss it's a tier 111 pit boss we just talked about it the main reason i die is that my temerity is not maxed so, so there, there, I mean, there's two reasons I die because damage reduction is bugged right now or not, not good enough. Um, I'm walking into elemental hazards that I shouldn't walk into. <laughs> but, but ultimately, um, if my temerity was a max roll, so it's currently a 49% roll. Uh, but if my temerity was actually a max roll, then I would do even more damage. Uh, then I would have even more barium. Because right now my barrier stops at half of my HP, but my barrier could also be 80% of my HP. And 80% of my HP sound, sounds vastly cooler, right? I mean, damage is nice that we're dealing, so this is working out very good. It's actually intriguing to me that... Black River is doing its work, positively, but I almost feel like that without the Black River, I could do more lucky hit for my army of the den. It's an interesting. It's an interesting thong. I mean, Black River is doing good amounts of damage, but I could technically do more lucky hit despite the crazy amount of. Um, oh, goodness, I can't get out of that. <laughs> but despite like the crazy amount of um corpses we're making with like all the attack speed that we have that despite despite that
it might be lucky hit wise better out there just for just for the cooldown reduction but i think that could be solved different so i'm currently thinking about like a better cooldown reduction right but we could get and this is this is also something crazy chan so cooldown reduction can get master work too huh i mean did, did you think about it so right now i i have like 10 percent cooldown reduction on my off end uh the the standard cooldown reduction it has and i have like no other cooldown reduction on any other piece of gear but that that means to me that technically i could get cooldown reduction on the amulet i can get cooldown reduction on the helmet and i can get cooldown reduction on yeah i don't know can you get cooldown reduction somewhere else often yeah helmet Mm, I need to repair my gear quickly. Let me kill that. Uh, do we have an Infinimus build? Uh, that is the next thing we're doing. So Infinimus is the next thing we're doing. We don't have an Ixfeld. So if someone has an Ixfeld for me, I would highly take that. So Helmet can have... Hold on, Reduction. Let's actually... Well, we have Intelligence roll on that one. So let's say screw the Intelligence roll. Let's Lucky Hit Chance. See, 10% Lucky... What? Wait, what? Huh. Okay, so you can just get un unconditional lucky hit chance on the helmet now. That stays. Uh, we could reroll the intelligence here because we just have way too much intelligence. Hmm. Um. You can get cooldown reduction. Yeah. But that's what I'm talking about. Like the the fact that you can get um so much lucky hit chance. Like that's twelve six. That's fourteen and a half. That's another eleven. That's 8.6 on this one, correct? So alone, alone these, like, I just boosted the lucky hit chance for just more lucky hit chance just for the YOLOs. Um, and what, 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 what can, can Amulet get? Uh, lucky hit chance too, and we can get... Put on reduction. And gloves could get lucky hit chance. Yeah. I'm just preparing this to be also the shadow build, by the way. Just for now, as you wonder. Now, Johnny, thank you for being here, but goodbye. Okay, that that that's like instead of cooldown reduction, we took a bunch of lucky hit chance, but you see like what is possible. We're currently at 64.75%. And that 64.75% could be way lower, right? What even is Lucky Hit Chance? Okay, let me explain. Lucky Hit Chance is on all your abilities. This has a Lucky Hit Chance of 92%. Lucky Hit Chance is part one of a two trigger, okay? So I have an ability that has a 40% to make a corpse on Lucky Hit. How does that work now? So that 40% chance to make a corpse on Lucky Hit. Um, ha like, step one is activating Lucky Hit. Okay? So step one of the of the formula is activating... I was sure I would not get hit. So, so step one is activate Lucky Hit. The activate Lucky Hit is on the skill. So 36, 29, or 92. That means this skill with a 92% chance can activate Lucky Hit. And then after, with a 92% chance Lucky Hit was activated, there is then a 40% chance to make a corpse. Okay. So you're essentially going to take 42% of 92% to calculate how likely is it that I get a corpse. 
on damage. Okay. Now, this skill has 36%. Or let's say for the safe of easy mass, 40%. That would be then 40% of 40% to make a corpse. Right? So that is then your actual existing chance to make a corpse. Uh, and the same goes for... Oh, I won. <laughs> uh, the same goes for Decrepify. So Decrepify currently... Oh, wait. Um, Decrepify currently has a... Fifteen percent chance to reduce my cooldowns. Okay, that means that with corpse explosion and the thirty-six percent chance of corpse explosion, one out of three, let's say like that. After I hit this with a thirty-six percent chance, I have a fifteen percent chance to hit decrepify. Or, army of the dead almost has hundred percent lucky hit. Let's say hundred percent for the sake of math. So if Army of the Dead has a 100% chance to hit Lucky Hit, then Abhorrent Decrapify has a 15% chance to reduce the cooldown by 1%. That means in total, for Army of the Dead, I would have a 15% chance to reduce my cooldowns. But for Corpse Explosion, it's 15% of 36%, which is quite low, right? So Corpse Explosion itself has an incredible low chance to actually cooldown reduce. And that's the only weakness in this build, by the way. The actual only weakness of this build. Because your golem does not have a critical strike chance. A uh, lucky hit chance. And I don't actually know if he can reduce. So what we have to do, or what this build can do, if I wouldn't need the 30%. Because that's the thing right now. So the only reason we're playing the golem chat is... 30% damage reduction. Only reason. We could play a Bone Spear. And a Bone Spear has 72% lucky hit chance. That means that every single Bone Spear with a 70% lucky hit chance on then 15% does actually have a good chance to reduce cooldowns. And the fun part about Bone Spear is that it's not actually only Bone Spear, it's also the Bone Splinters. So if Bone Spear breaks into three Bone Shards when it is destroyed, every single Bone Shard has its own lucky hit chance. Lucky hit chance is 50% on a skill, and your lucky hit skill is 20%. It would mean that 10% of the time I would proc lucky hit. Yes. Uh, so this one is 20%, right? And this one is 72%. And that, like, if it was 10%, that would mean that it's a 7.2% chance to technically trigger own spear. For 20%, it's a 14.2% chance, a 14.4% chance to actually make a corpse. If it's doubled on corpses and it's 40%, that that, that then means that we're looking at 25% uh, 20, chance to actually make a corpse. And now that's with 72%, right? So that means that with a corpse explosion that only has 36% and then you have a 10% chance or a 20% chance, there's only a 7.2% 7, 7 chance to make a corpse. La 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 la! Right? Why would you take lucky hit instead of crit chance? We have crit chance too. The thing is that the build is... So, Necromancer is insane right now. Look at my critical strike chance. My critical strike chance is 50%. By the way, Sansai think for the 15 months and Pop think for the 31 months. How are you doing? Let's fucking go. So, Necromancer has a 50% critical strike chance. 50 
that's not it though so this 50 percent critical strike chance is because of inspiring leader while you're healthy you gain 12 percent increased critical strike chance and your minions gain 18 percent the interesting part is that your minions should get 30 because your minions get 100 percent of your stats so i get 12 the minions get 18 and the minions should get the other 12 as well technically but on top of that you have your grasping veins and grasping veins is 25 percent plus 50. so that means i'm actually running around with a 75 percent critical strike chance for the ring of mendel 75 percent chan yeah that's quite nice isn't it So even if I would lose critical strike chance and you can only get that on gloves in the off end, you can actually get it on amulet, but it's not worth it. Yeah. I think I would still be fine. And by the way, my amulet has a greater affix of total armor, which is quite insane. Okay, before we continue playing, let me quickly run upstairs and I think we might actually do the shadow build today. Would you like to see a shadow build, guys? But would you not only like to see the shadow build, does someone actually have an Ixfeld's Corroded Signet that they don't need? That they could train? Because I, I, could, I could really need that Ixfeld's Corroded Signet then. I'll be quickly right back. Uh, if you have a Prime Sub, don't forget to Prime Sub. If you have a Sub Sub, don't forget to Sub Sub. And uh, then we'll see that we actually make a Shadow Build, I think. Be right there.
Okay, let's get the shuttle build going. Is that the build you're going to show you? Us now? Oh, yes, we're doing the shuttle build. Okay. Is it possible to use the sh only shuttle skills with one build? That's what we're doing. Okay. We're making a... We're, we're taking the, the flat here. Make a shadow build now. And we're using the coolest shadow timber for that. Okay. By the way, for the people asking, blood search failed. And blood search didn't fail a little bit. Blood search failed Gron. Okay. So critical strike chance, uh, max roll. What we need is lucky hit chance and critical strike chance. The cr no, yeah, that's a... Uh... No, actually we need... Um, we need Littlest Wall. That's mandatory. Okay, Littlest Wall is needed. And we need a wand. I don't want to have lucky hit chance. That's the big question. Mm. What do you think is the strongest uh, necro builds? Minions and shadow. Okay, what can a wand have? A oh, wand can't have lucky hit chance. That's perfect. That's perfect. And then we can actually take this one. Because this one is insane. We need to change the tempering though. We might ruin it on the way. How much tempering do we have left? Because we need the elemental surge. So look at this guys. This is the most insane thing that exists. Why? Up to a 40% chance to deal shadow damage. Lucky hit. And guess how many times you can temper this, chat? Guess how many times you can temper this? Three times. Your strongest character is Blood Surge. I mean, it's working. It's just not insane working, right? What do you think is the most fun built minions? Oh, Blight minion build is fantastic. It's a good choice. And I think Blight minions is strong. Mm, but you're again, like you're making like that split between minions and Blight, right? So let's see if we can get shadow. I'm looking for shadow damage, not cold. I'm looking for shadow damage. Hold. I'm looking for shadow damage. I'm looking for shadow damage. Okay, yeah. And guess what, guys? You can temper this. Okay. Mm. What can gloves have? I need to know the stats of gloves. What, what can gloves have? Gloves can have critical strike chance and damage. Yes. I need critical strike chance and damage gloves. Sixty vulnerable damage is actually insane. I 
I need critical strike, chance, damage, and lucky hit. So I need to actually take these gloves from him. Basic attacks are better now. Yeah, basic attacks might be better now, but they're still... Fuck no, I can't take these gloves. Hmm... Fuck, fuck, fuck. I can't take those gloves. You take these ones. Okay, we're going to try to make the most insane lucky hit necro, okay? This is going to be so crazy. You won't even know what happened. Yeah. Why couldn't we take the other gloves? That's actually very simple. Because we need to temper these. Actually, they can't take surge. The amulet can take surge. Wow, this has lucky hit and crit. This has everything. Wait, you can't get surge too. So the only wait, I had to would have to have an offhand with surge, huh? Yeah. It goes on the offhand, hmm. I kind of want double surge. I don't want a single surge. You know what the interesting part is about socketing double surge? The interesting part is that it's not two times 40%. It's still one time 40%, but double the damage. What are you eating? Uh, meatballs. Boy, in Germany, a frikadella. Wait, this is doing shadow damage, right? So I would need to increase. See, like, I have a problem here. Do you think darkness damage would increase shadow damage? Would well, probably not, right? But I can increase shadow damage over time. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Grab a five size? Yeah, sure. And now we would have to reroll that. The critical strike. Critical strike. Damage. I actually want a critical strike chance. Mm -hmm. Leave it. Okay, we get the one, we get this. Uh, we need an amulet. The amulet can be tempered with... Actually funny, you can get more movement speed during blood mist, which is quite insane. Oh yeah, and you can you can actually do ultimate skill cooldown on the necro, which I kind of found interesting a lot. Desecrated ground damage, we're not doing that, but there's a whole desecrated ground damage build, by the way. I want damage over time. Three tempers left. That was a mistake. It was a mistake. Okay, I got darkness damage. At least darkness damage. And then we're going to go for... 
Uh... Dodge chance, great. Fantastic amulet, Chad. Fantastic amulet. So what we would need is Shadow Blight. Do we have Shadow Blight? As a max roll almost. Take in. Good. And you're gonna get the Shadow Blight on the amulet. This is probably my favorite part about the game right now, correct? To get that shit instant enchanted. It's it's so good. Like words cannot describe. We can sacrifice mages for uh what was it? Uh vulnerable damage. Golem for crit and bone uh and then go golem for crit. And these dudes for shadow damage. We're not going to play the new amulet because the new amulet is bugged currently and I'm trying to avoid that. I'm going to show you the new amulet chat, but I'm not planning to play it. Okay. Just for you to understand. Uh, consider if I want to do that or not. You want to know what the craziest part about Shadow currently is, ladies and gentlemen? Something in this direction currently. Uh, that Shadow... With all the shadow damage over time that you can put on your gear, is also boosting the Shadow Blight key passive quite significant because Shadow Blight's damage is increased by 100 X of your shadow damage over time bonus, right? So the more shadow damage over time we have, the better it is. <laughs> uh, that means I need the Ring of Sacrilegious Souls though. Did you manage to find somebody to give you X-Files? No, sadly, we don't have uh, X-Files yet. Uh, Frigadellen are boiled meatballs. No, you make you make like meatballs with, with onions and some other shebang, and then you put them in a pan and you fry them. A Frigadelle is a fried meatball. That's why it's called a Frigadelle, probably. Oh, do we need the corpse skills? I'm thinking about like acquiring these items for the build. These two items, I need the Ring of Sacrilegious Souls. Mm. Five rings, two corpse explosion skills. We can take that one too. Just so looking which which one to to join from here. Lucky hit chance helmet. Yeah, we need that one too. Back to Mr. D.E. I think shadow damage is just going to be so strong because you're literally just living in your... Your blood mist, right? Should be easier than ever to actually do that. Check the gear. I'm going to pick up this helmet. I'm going to pick that up for the corpse explosion. I'm going to do the pans. We do the boots right now. So we're already at corpse explosion multiple times again. Uh, blight, bone storm, that. I mean, we do need the aspect of ultimate shadows. So that that's that's a one hundred percent right. You need the ultimate. So we need the aspect of ultimate shadows right now, which is stronger than ever. Sadly, we don't we don't sadly have the strong version, right? By the way, uh, what was that? Vulnerable damage, movement speed, damage reduction from close casting skills has a 30% chance to cast a non mobility, non ultimate skill. That's currently on cooldown. Huh. All right, 
useless. Uh, we get ultimate shadows. Oh, I need to destroy that. So we get ultimate shadows from the codex that is needed on our one right now. Ultimate. Then we need one ring with lucky hit chance, right? We should probably have a ring with lucky hit chance, shouldn't we? The ring of secondly just sold. That's in. I need a lucky hit. Ring with five, six lucky hit chance. Okay. What other stat do we want on a ring? What can actually happen? So we could get critical strike chance, vulnerable, damage, attack speed. Hmm. I mean, probably just critical strike chance to boost that higher. We're at 18%. Yeah, we need critical strike chance, but higher. But higher. But higher. But higher. But more. 50% critical strike chance damage is so juicy. Okay, so we get the ring too. So that's uh, lucky hit and crit. So we get lucky hit here. We get lucky hit there. We get lucky hit here. We get lucky hit there. And we get lucky hit on the amulet. So so right now, everything can ask lucky hit. We need a bunch of up to side. I'm going to just master work things four times. Okay, guys, we're not going to overdo it. By the way, yes, if someone had Ixfeld's Corroded Signet, I would kiss their booty, but uh, it's okay, Chad. If you don't want your booty kiss, I, I will, I will, I will, sur I will survive without Ixfeld's. By the way, anyone, anyone desperately wanting a open all button, Chad? Anyone wanna wanna open all button? I mean, seriously, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it if this is gonna be my season, I'm not ready right? Yet. If it's unique for you, I mean, test server like here, we I have the bloodless scream, I have three even piercers, I got the Azure Wrath, we have deathless visages, so whatever it is you want, these are the uniques I currently have open for for handing out. I sadly don't have anything else to hand out. My apologies. I wish there was more. Oh, I need to temper this. I can offensive temper this with shadow as well. No, I don't want desecrated ground damage. Please. No, I don't want darkness damage. Give me shadow damage over time. Give me shadow damage over time. Give me shadow damage over time right now. I can't actually do it again because this is too risky. I need ultimate cooldown reduction. Thank you very much for giving that to me. Kung Pao. Oh. Pony's pony's missing the where where friends was. Kung Pao number. Two, nine, three, four. Uh, you want to try Blood Wave and try Ulti Damage. What's a good unique for it? Uh, technically, the Bloodless Scream. Because with a Bloodless Scream, uh, you would turn all your Shadow Skills into Frost Skills. And then you would get a Damage Multiplier. The problem is this is a weak um, Bloodless Scream of only 50%. So it feels kind of bad, you know? even offer you that this one was tempered already let's master work it three times so the, the main thing you actually want to do for shadow is right now this temper so you want to get the uh desecrated ground damage 
because the amount of like you can turn blood wave into shadow and then you could you can make blood wave do desecrated ground damage and then you can shadow finesse i mean you can shadow finesse this that here there so you can shadow finesse four times to get another 400 percent desecrated ground damage uh that's that's like quite quite something um but yeah if you want to we can i can i can give you that bloodless scream so you at least have the bloodless scream going on you know you can give it a try then we have a really fun build that like we have a, we have actually a whole video on that um and it's it's quite something here this is this is my favorite part about this game chat this trading freaking uniques at this point thank you very much for the x files brother now i can at least give this a real test i can i can give this a whirly twirly right so we can we can master work that straight away ladies and gentlemen shout out to kung pao just to hamburg city who just gave us the absolute cool thing just cooldown reduction too we need we need to boost this a bit further so i think i would be better off boosting this uh eight times wow i'm, I'm lucky wow chat look at me chat i master work this i'm on a run chat i'm on a run sorry I was, I was getting all excited look at that oh my goodness that's the, that's the it's the perfect master i've never i've never had a, that lucky master work i'm on a run the problem is now you would think this is a good system right because i'm so excited right now but the thing is i'm only excited because of the amount of pissed i am you know so, so this 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 reasonably doesn't even have me happy it's more like i'm just so so pissed off by the whole system <laughs> That this at least has me like like 10% being like if it was otherwise I would yell at the screen. You know? If it was otherwise, I would just simply yell at the screen. Okay, this is like more or less all the shadow shebang together, right? We get the maximum life, we get everything, we get good amounts of armor. Um we have we currently have 22% uh, crit chance. We get the ultimate shadows running. We get the double rings. We have the shadow blight key passive. Uh, I would say we need grasping veins on the. We need grasping veins here. We get the damage reduction. We could take that. We need to put something else on the helmet. Um. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. This is actually bad. This is bad. We have a problem. We have a problem. And the problem is that we're out of aspect slots. We might actually have to drop the Littlest Wall. And the Grasping Mains is nice, but the problem is what you need is actually the shadow and there is the aspect of decay no not the aspect of decay the aspect of the damned so you deal 35 percent increased shadow damage to enemies afflicted by any curse yay great right that's where you could say like screw crit because it's just insane yeah i know crazy Just void on the boots, the yolos. One storm barium. My helmet could just run sugar. Just so we are fully, fully like so. So now we're at twenty thousand armor, right? Our our resistances are not resistancing yet because we haven't done we've done the skill tree, but we have one point left over that we're gonna put here for now. Oh, we haven't done the paragon board so for the paragon board you probably still take well, this is the question if you would actually still take exhumation or if you would take i mean technically we do shadow damage so we need more shadow damage most amount of shadow damage possible why, why shadow damage because this shadow damage um boosts the shadow damage of the lucky hit procs as well right 
Find someone that doesn't play Barb? Nah. Ain't nobody get time for that, my friend. Still going for the crits because we're going for maximum lucky hit critical strike procs. Okay. So the whole build is maximum lucky hit critical strike procs. Just so you understand. Mm, and that is corporal still. I know corporal, that's amplify. Good. It gets followed up by wither board. And the wither board, we get damage reduction, which is actually kind of cool. We get wither itself, which is kind of cool times two. Shadow damage, shadow damage, shadow damage. Mm. And technically you should play Scourge. Scourge is shadow damage over time. Just playing a bit around. Not even fully sure what I what I really wanna what I really wanna push with this. Uh you would take actually we could do exclamation here. Intriguingly enough, I could do exclamation. Mm. That looks better. And then we could take my bone graft. What am I doing, Chan? We just we just threw something together here right now just to see what what's my resistance saying? Our resistance is fully resistanced out. I think I can put the cold resistance away. Twenty one thousand. Okay. Then. Let me just do a for before we before we dive into the pit. Let me just do a here normal tier blah 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 boo just to get the vibe. <laughs> <clears throat> we're guys will tier four not even will tier four oops uh what do you think about druid hitting for 22 billion sit down barb i mean like i've seen a barb essentially cl like cl cluster the whole screen with uh some weird ass whirlwind shit and you can't see anything anymore so that's that you know go to world tier four check the resistances again i think it should still be enough hopefully we'll see about that don't don't force me to do change anything because I, I don't want to. I just want to be happy. You're right. We we're 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 almost resistanced out, so we can do that with two gems. That's gonna be fine. Okay, we activate this. We go through. Do you see these um the the lightning procs when they're happening? So there there's uh, some some. To see the, these uh, lightning procs. That is Ixfelds, but also the new lucky hit chance. Kind of like both. I'm not ready yet. This is Shadow in a nutshell, right? So, sh sh like, you're just zooming through, you're doing damage, it's just working. And this is currently without even Piercer, so we're, we're not using the broken thing because you might have missed this, but even Piercer is actually um, broken. The, the new unique for, for Necro because the new unique for Necro actually uh, has like an overcharging amount of lucky hit chance. I see this is working. This is just working fine. Okay. Get out of here. Let's go into the pin.
when you get to consider that you can essentially play the same the same infinity mist build you've always played but now as soon as you curse you get 50 percent more damage multiplicative cool right Your understanding of the Paragon board is just stupid. It's too much time spent with it. I mean, since the beginning of the game, the amount of Paragon boards I've made is... ...is high. No. Two or, two or three Paragon boards have been made. Do I boost fire instead of cult resistance? I mean, cult resistance mainly kills me anyways. Now nah, you know what fire resistance i'm gonna i'm gonna just tank down so this build uses even piercer no it doesn't use even piercer it could use even piercer but again i'm i'm refusing to actually use even piercer right now because it's broken uh it, it has a very interesting interaction where it just makes everything trigger a billion times right Okay, that, that's activating this, going in, blood mist, pull everything together, explosions, pull everything together. See, they, they just die to what I do. Go in, blood mist, pull everything together, reduce my cooldowns, everything together, blood mist, not dying. Right, and th this is where we're just, um, shadow, shadow is just so good. Right, so so there there's no danger of me actually dying very much because I'm I'm essentially just there. But if you compare this to the Bone Spear build, the sp the Bone Spear build was struggling here, right? Pull everything together. Blood mist. And you, you, like the damage is crazy, right? I mean, usually shadow damage takes some time to ramp up, but the double combination of Ixfeld's Corroded Signet plus the new Shadow Shebang, and this is without even Piercer. Even Piercer, so so how, what could you now imagine even Piercer to do, guys? Even Piercer would um, supercharge this. So the damage you're seeing, uh, make that times eight. Okay. Make what we're doing here right now times eight, and you 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 would essentially have what what even piercer does for this build. How even piercer supercharges what we're having here going on. Just to give you a base understanding to why why even piercer is so silly stupid right now. I need more time. And everything dead again. Fantastic. So yeah, th this is like next to next to minions. This is like the way to play right now. So shadow, I, I think shadow and shadow and summons are tier one. And before you ask, could you play a shadow minion build? Yes, you could. You could play a shadow minion build, and yes, it would work. But the problem about the shadow minion build is that you would essentially be relying more or less on your shadow damage and your ring of mandelne again instead of your minion damage so so like in in the in the actual minion build the pure minion build i'm playing you're finally using minions as your source of damage and ring of mandelne is just bonus right and in the shadow minion build you're you're back to this kind of like using using like again your your minions just as a bonus source of impact but you're not you're not l using like the minion damage does that make sense does that make any sense what i'm trying to say chad so yeah you're, you're not you're not actually using like again the the, the base minion damage you're, you're just abusing them essentially right they're, they're they mean nothing to you You don't even care for them, man. I need more time. So consider this gear right now, right? I, we just threw this together. This doesn't have a single greater affix. So we, we have like, we have the lowest of the low B gear pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Oi. Sorry. 
We're not supposed to hear that. Um, but yeah, we, we have like no no greater affixes, not, not, none of these shebangs happening right now. Uh, missing, missing, but oh, oh that, that was great. The, the new corpse tendrils are insane too. What's new about corpse tendrils? Well, corpse tendrils have an absolute incredible size now. So that's new about them. I need more time. Comments on your new video are wild. Most people do agree. This is the coolest thing about the test server right now. It, like most people agree on, on the things that are bad right now, correct? So that the that the random lucky hit rolling is stupid, that the pit is maybe missing some scaling, that the random one hits are stupid, that tormented bosses make absolutely no sense why they even exist, right? Why, why do tormented bosses exist? Um, that the veiled crystal situation is horrendous. So, so everyone kind of like agrees on these base things together, which is kind of cool to see because that, that's what we want, right? We want to want to agree on the basics to to then have again the game like flourish and grow uh i don't have my i don't have my bone storm running right now that's bad because that means i'm gonna die in a second you know i'm getting my bone storm running oh wow so like here now, now you see how we're barely dealing well well mummy's barely we're doing we're doing okay damage to him for like a shadow build the main problem is he's a wandering boss wandering bosses are always horrible for shadow builds because they don't stand in one spot right because i'm gonna do all my all my shadow thingies right and he's he's just gonna go away so that, that's like the the existing issue that shadow has always had with bosses and this kind of gets solved by even piercer but it only gets solved by even piercer because even piercer is bugged and that's where i don't agree with with like the existence of even piercer right i mean if it only works because even piercer is bugged then it doesn't actually work i mean we're doing we're doing decent damage right And now, now just to show the difference. So I guess Winions is still better. I think for single target damage, Winions is better. Unless you use Even Piercer. Because now here comes the silly part. Let's go and take Even Piercer. To, to just like show you actually. Not, not just not just tell you, to show you. Do I have a good Even Piercer? Well, I have a max roll Even Piercer. Thank you very much. Let's temper this thingy. I'm not sure where I then put the blighted aspect. Probably on my. That's the even piercer now. Uh, needs the lightning gem. So what does even piercer do? So again, a blight also shoots four smaller projectiles uh, at enemies. A deal twenty thousand shadow damage over three seconds. Each of these projectiles, each of these projectiles uh, can lucky hit. That means that each of these projectiles can trigger X files and each of these projectiles can trigger um, the lucky hit chance to do 40,000 damage, right? Now I need to move the shadow blight key passive thing over to my wand, I think. And then just to just to show you what's gonna happen as a comparison with even piercer look at the health look at the health look at the difference you notice something You notice something? Just, just for you to understand the the huge difference between what what does even piercer actually do? Like every instance of even piercer can lucky hit. Every instance of even piercer, yeah, like and and for some reason it over lucky hits. Now I'm not sure is is this a bug? Is this intended? It is most likely a bug. So let's let's do one more just just with even piercer to just show you like the difference. 
but Shadow is quite crazy. Yobo, thank you for the 72 months of support. Poison the Onion, thank you for the brand new sub. Kukovic, thank you for 59 months. Howdy. Now, now I wouldn't call this then a working build though, because if the build now is only working because my even piercer is over to and see now, did you see how fast they now die? But most importantly, look at the cooldown of my bone storm. You notice how, how much time it took that last time to go down? You see how it instantly goes down. Like I use my even piercer to throw that in and it just instantly goes down. So what's happening right now is an over triggering of lucky hit chance. And that, that is a factual thing. That's not a maybe thing. Maybe we're over triggering lucky hit chance. No, it's it's like you could you could see that so perfectly just on the simple decrepify. When I put the decrepify on and boom, 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 and we already have that fucked again, right? And then but but this is um don't get me wrong. This this feels good. I mean like like so this is really fun. I, I know it's a bug and I know I shouldn't be enjoying a bug, right? Because a bug is not a working build, but, but it's just like, I am, I am tremendously enjoying the actual, uh, the actual build. Because this is, this is like, this is how barbarians must feel, right? So yes, this is a bug. Yes, this is bad. Um, yes, this should get fixed, but I, I can't deny that it makes me feel very powerful and and I'm 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 like I like it, and it's it's actually cool to to finally get a taste of of what barbarians have been having the past X seasons since since their existence, right? Now this this belly's actually a question though. Should lucky hit chance be increased wholesale? Because as you can see, why why is this working so good? Because lucky hit chance is high, right? And if I don't have my lucky hit chance this high, it's not working that good. But the thing is that I ca I cannot I cannot get lucky hit chance to to no matter how much lucky hit chance I take, it will it will never be doing this. Now now is the question: Is lucky hit chance per se too low? Should lucky hit chance maybe be higher so that these things are reasonably possible right I'm not ready. i mean they keep nerfing lucky hit chance actually because in case you didn't know this but for some reason that makes absolutely no sense they nerfed the lucky hit chance of corpse explosion I mean, the one thing that was actually good for Lucky Hit, the one thing that you needed for Lucky Hit as the Necromancer, and they decided to nerve that because reason unknown. Okay, by the way, before we before we now go into the boss fight, I'm going to wait for the shrine to be gone. Okay. Now it's gone. Not sure if it's a bug. I mean, it's probably the same bug as there was with, um, look, there's the same bug as there was with Bone Prison because we're, we're just triggering Lucky Hit. Like there's no tomorrow. I mean, I mean, look, look at this. This is, this is silly. This is, I mean, this, this is silly, but I'm liking it. Well, what, what can I say? This is silly. This is stupid. This shouldn't be. Am I liking it? Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, what did I get? I just got another Black River, a good Black River, Chan, and I get another Azure Wrath. But is this a bug or not? It's actually easily testable. Okay, Maxime, good to see you there. We're going to be taking our actual amulet. Then we're going into the... Good job. Now, now it's... How do I put this now? The thing is, yes, sure, it is a bug. But on the other hand, you're shooting out four more blight projectiles, right? So you shoot one blight out and four more blights. That means that you suddenly have five blights and each blight has a 61% lucky hit chance. 
So reasonably, you could say instead of having one blight, you have five blights and each blight has that. And then you're putting multiple blights on. So technically, it should be that way, right? Technically. So we get we get one target and I'm going to put the even piercer off. OK, even piercer off. I'm, I'm going to activate my bone storm, my blood mist. I'm going to curse it and look at the cooldown reduction. So after I'm after spamming that the cooldown reduction is good, right? Where we're getting this down like I'm my blood mist again. Half of the cooldown is is happening. So, so that that was cool. We, we, you know, we, we saw this working. We saw this actually having having an influence. And the corpse explosions are happening and, and you see like the random random explosions correct so so our explosions are explosioning too that's that's fantastic okay now we're going away from this and we're going to put on the even piercer again even piercer does this right it's another that's another that means i'm going to activate my thingy and that and then i'm going to do this Can't tell me that's intended. Alone the, the amount of time that things are proccing, right? Does Azure Wrath work well with minions? Lucky hit, your skills have up to a 20% chance to freeze enemies for three seconds and deal cold damage. Where would that work with minions? I mean, you're forced to do lucky hit again. The current the current thing with minion builds is no more lucky hit. Current minion builds are not utilizing lucky hit anymore. Lucky hit is outdated and you're not doing this. And the main reason is that Ring of Mendeln triggers without lucky hit, which is amazing. So yeah. We could, we could now argue all day long if even piercer is now the thing that's bugged, if even piercer should be that way or shouldn't be this way, right? Realistically, it, it feels it feels goddamn amazing. I, mean, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm absolutely slaying, right? I'm absolutely demolishing everything. So, so it does just feel simply good. if or if not it is supposed to be this way who gives a flying fart macrotesla is a bug oh well, it, it, it definitely is a bug but still so necro is it yes there's a shadow necro and there's a summon necro that are going to be it the bone necro is definitely not it the the um the summon necro has multiple iterations i mean the only thing i'm missing is the shadow summon necro that i haven't built yet uh but again the shadow summon necro is also something that i don't wish to um like that that's essentially again away from the pure summoner lifestyle because you like if you if you do a shadow summon necro uh, you wouldn't be playing Kalen's Addict. You would be playing Shadow Blight again. You wouldn't be boosting your minions damage. So so all these things would again fall away and you'd only push men down. You have Twitter. Yes, I have Twitter and I have YouTube. So so that's where that's where like my main content is. Like, I mean, Twitch, yes, where we stream. YouTube, where we stream. But, uh, you know, like, like uh, YouTube is where we upload daily videos. Video. But I, I gotta say the build even without the buck feels good just that we're lacking in the boss fight department But I think that's that's always gonna be the problem with shadow, right? I mean, we're good enough I, like, Okay, so let me wait. Let me let me rephrase this guys I don't think we're actually lacking in the boss fight department for one simple reason Um, We could sacrifice the littlest wall and potentially think about playing um I need more time. think about playing the shadow blight key passive stacker to actually do even more shadow blight key passive damage god it's fun to nuke people with i like it, it's fun to finally nuke things with actually blight no blight has become a nuke skill 
Look at me, mom. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. Blight, 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 blight. Blight, blight. Bum, 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 bum. Blight, blight, blight. Out of my way. Blight, 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 blight. Blight, blight. Overtuned, but but it's okay. Everything I do, critical strikes. Blight, 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 blight. The best part is you, you could even you could even play the um like I'm playing the aspect of the void to actually pull enemies together, right? So you're even bullying them. See, like like we're pu pulling them together. Bully, 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 bully. just do 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 and you like go pew, but i was do 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 unfair chan i get robbed there's a general consensus on the new season well no one knows the new season so the general consensus on the new season is that actually no one does know the new season because we haven't actually seen anything wait what what do you what do you mean well well exactly that we, we don't we don't know the new season mechanic No one knows the new seasonal mechanic. Ah! Really? 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 You touched my tail? So this is just merely, um, this is merely the base game changing. So yeah, you know it because you saw the leaks. I mean, we all saw the leaks if you actually paid attention, but even, even if you know the leaks, the leaks did not pertain any big information sure you know a little bit now so so i was out of that again holy so there like you know that it has something to do with the iron wolves and there seem to be some items and there seems to be a reputation grind but apart from that you don't know anything you don't know anything if there's going to be a new a new zone like like the, the blood harvest you don't know if we're going to get mercenary companions or not I mean, the data mine was very basic and very minimal, and we actually did not receive incredible amounts of information. So, yeah. I mean, yes, we know something about the seasonal mechanic, but we're far from knowing the seasonal mechanic. Good morning, Nathoyla. Good to see you there. Okay, but what else is there to play? Uh, what else is there to try now? The problem is that if the item doesn't do what it says it does, you can't trust any item. Well, you can generally not trust anything in, in Diablo. Just saying. <laughs> you can anyways not trust anything in Diablo. Kinda. So that's the Shadow Eben Piercer build. So the, the main... So... For the people that miss it, the main amazing thing is this right now. Lucky hit the temper. Lucky hit up to a 40% chance to deal 40,000 shadow damage. What I could do right now is I could take this shield. I could put it off. Then we're going to go for the focus. I want a critical strike lucky hit chance focus. So we take a, you take a focus. And we're going to take this focus and put the aspect of the grasping mains on it for even more critical strike damage, right? And I'm going to reroll this focus, the intelligence to... Mm. Yep, yeah, I'm exactly to that. Right? We're going to temper it then to the Shadow Finesse. 
No corpse explosion damage. No desecrated ground damage. Bad damage over time. Thank you. And elemental surge shadow. Shadow. A shadow. A shadow. Well, that's bad. I need another one. That focus is bricked. Uh, I need another one. Uh, that was a lucky chance focus. So let's try again. We're tempering it for elemental surge. So the, the most interesting part is about this elemental surge right now that again, um, the way it works is that it, it works as one, one proc. Okay. It doesn't work as two different entities, as two different procs. It's just one single proc. Okay. That means if, if I hit the lucky hit chance, then I'm doing both the damages. Okay. So I'm going to be doing the uh, 20, 20, uh, 38,000 damage because I master worked down. And I'm going to be doing the 25,000 damage that's on there too. Right. So you're doing both of these damages together. It's like really, really funny. Okay, so we master worked that higher. So this is 27,000 currently. This is 38,000. So this is like 60,000 together. And now, now when we're going out to, to be doing even more damage. You tried Blood Necker. Yes, this is what we did today. We played Blood Necker, Chad. So the people that just joined, Blood Surge works, but not in the higher pit. I mean, Blood Surge can be tier 100 pit, but it's not like, it doesn't feel as good as it did last season where you're just absolutely rampaging through everything. It merely feels okay. Blood Surge minions also works, especially for leveling. But again, for the end game content, it just, it's just, it's just not it compared to the other um minion builds so so to total total um bodies blood blood fun but blood ain't boom boom so i think we just went from like five million hits over to eight to ten million hits which allows us to then do billions of damage And that's where blood is just sadly even if you go like for all the for all the cool things like blood surge ain't just doing it i'm not sure about blood lands but i think blood lands might have the same problem the only good thing that you have currently about um blood builds is that you can fix all your essence issues okay so so you'll never have an essence issue again with a blood build um simply because of like essence per second and all the other shenanigans that you actually have going on that, that's a good change so so right now right now the new affixes truly allow you to build builds that never run out of essence uh even without using an aspect i don't know what killed me i, I literally there was nothing that actually touched me there there was no one close by i i probably i probably stumbled on the bridge guys so what happened there is that i probably stumbled and stuck my toe and that's why i suddenly got eradicated from the face of Urs because because why wouldn't i right <laughs> why wouldn't i suddenly die one thing about the even piercer thing is it seems to be that the damage goes higher with every tick this is quite this is quite weird so, so like what we said that even piercer is most likely a bug because it is but what 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 seems to be very interesting is that the even piercer actually works with um he gets also stronger with every tick by the way one thing do you notice how my essence is actually running dry why didn't why didn't my essence run dry before well that's actually very simple um because i was using the Litless Wall, and the Litless Wall has a 5% chance to trigger Essence on hit. So, so a 5% lucky hit chance to give me Essence back. Okay. Guess, guess what happened? Um, 
Guess, guess what happened when we're using the even piercer? We're just continuously hitting that. Uh, have you tried AFK Corpse Explosion Necro this season? Uh, would you just do Minion Corpse Explosion Necro? I mean, you can truly, you can truly be AFK right now. Here, I, I got, I got this build. Oh no, he doesn't have a chest piece. Oops. <laughs> it's a bit naked. Sorry, Chad. Uh, this build with Black River that actually heals you and then you have minions and corpse explosions and the golem and everything And this build is essentially made to just stand afk in a hell tide and do nothing but stand afk in a hell tide Super fun Look like you're missing a glyph. I mean, we can double check I'm missing a glyph or not Mm, did I did I miss a glyph you're saying? Oh yeah, here we didn't put it in. I don't even know which one we wanted to put in. Did we put exploit in? We could just randomly no it wasn't exploit. Oh, I wanted to play exclamation there. That, that explains how I. That explains how I have been not. Um, that explains how I have been not fortifying. Because the plan was to fortify there. Over corpse explosions. I guess this is now the build to push for level two hundred of the pid, right? Chan. I mean, if, if I just want to speed push for the for the for the bottom of the pit, right? I guess I don't see a different build because I essentially have all the cool. Oh wow, yeah, um, I just died. Thank you for your participation. So if, if we just if we just want to raise, this seems to be the the sit thing to do. By the way, yes, Chad, fifteen percent damage reduction from uh, from your. From your from your bone storm being active, 18% uh, damage reduction from everything being sacrificed, 20% damage reduction from uh, from having cursed the enemy, then uh, 20,000 armor uh, that gets followed up by that gets followed up by uh, by another 14% like when you're when you're fortified actually that's another. 10% uh, versus or 12% versus enemies affected by shadow damage over time. Uh, yeah. And yet, and yet, right? And yet, you're dying. So that still needs an explanation from Blizzard. I mean, we're essentially, we had it in Abba 12 Zier, and we're now right back where we started. So nothing, it's almost like nothing changed, right? Almost like Blizzard doesn't learn that that elemental damage should just simply not kill me, right? But hey, who am I to complain about such trivial issues? Who am, <clears throat> who am I to complain about such trivial issues as weird one hits, right, John? End of the day, I'm just a super whiner. Rain? Rain? But I do believe if they if they get this under control. Right? If if they get if they get this fixed, the, the problem with the one hits. I'm not ready yet. We're cooking. Right, John? 
I mean, I would, I would almost be 100% happy with this season if that whole, if that whole one, one hit mechanic, you know, if they get that under control and then they, they remove the tempering success chance. Uh, you got me. I'm wholesale happy. I mean, again, we discussed how could you, how could you take care of the random one hits not happening anymore? And that is potentially over making making damage reduction be temporal. So if we if we can finally temper damage reduction, then then the problem could be automatically fixed, even even without changing much to the game, right? Need to repair in the PDR. Yes, I mean like you need to repair. You don't have unlimited resources. You don't have all the temper recipes. Uh, like I I'm I'm not one hundred percent sure what Blizzard like. They had the right idea with the PDR, but tell me why we don't have every single temper recipe. Tell me. Why? I mean, I would like to just temper with whatever. And yet for some reason, we we had to find these recipes right i mean the same kind of goes why 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 don't we have unlimited veil crystals or anything i mean that being said it's it's actually good that we don't have unlimited veil crystals because they um where i put this now it at least showed that we have a veil crystal issue I mean, because Veiled Crystals are being used by everything currently, right? Everything is using Veiled Crystals. Veiled Crystals are, are the main commodity that's being, that, that, that we, that we used to pay for whatever. If you want to buy a coffee, you gotta, you get, you need Veiled Crystals. Um, and si since everything costs Veiled Crystals, there's always a shortage. I mean, I, I've, I've had at this point, so I used, I, I made myself 10,000 Veiled Crystal on the test server. 10,000. Um, I, I already ran out and I had to make another, another 7,000 and I'm almost out of them as well. Now you can say, Pony, you're, you're testing too much. Maybe this is not a realistic game experience. It is though. I mean, if I, if I have multiple characters and I want to do multiple different builds and I, I, I haven't even rerolled that many stats, right? So, so I've been, I've been mostly just going with whatever. I, I seriously don't know what actually kills me there. So I've been, I've been mainly going with whatever and, and just, just, uh, like doing things, right? Yeah. I mean that, that, ve that it costs 75 veiled crystals to imprint something is a joke. I mean, especially since imprinting, I, thank you. Especially since imprinting is, uh, like the, the vibe right now, right? I mean, you are able to change affixes on the fly. You finally have all the affixes. You're not struggling for them anymore and and then they actually decide to to make it super expensive and the reason is reasons oh by the way <laughs> by the way does anyone understand the, the the graphical thing when you when you swap worlds why that happens I, mean, I, I, can, I can understand why they push season four back you know like in the in the beginning we're like hey maybe they have to maybe they have to put the ptr feedback into the game and that's and that's why you know th that's why the season is being pushed back but when you see these tiny things like like as simple as swapping swapping the world and and like having having these graphical artifacts you're like hmm Maybe, maybe there there was more than one reason why we we needed to push the season back right maybe, maybe there's more than one reason which uber to scale good with minion builds not a single one there's not a single uber unique for minion builds which is not completely true. Te technically, you could be using um, the Ring of Starless Skies. 
That's a big technically because you're actually using the ring of sacrilegious souls and the ring of men down. So again, that's a, that's a big technically you could be using that, but realistically, you're actually not going to use, um, any Ubers, not even Shaco, nothing there. There's, there's, I mean, like, like, let's, let's go to the Ubers and see what could profit minion builds. Okay. So transmute sparks you have Tyrael's might Tyrael's might is cool uh because it gives you like this this shooting ability like a shrine that doesn't work with minions because in minions minions are doing the damage and this is going more for a corpse explosion unlimited essence whatsoever build grandfather gives you a huge amount of critical strike damage that works Technically, with minions and the Ring of Men down, practically you don't have the aspect slots. Okay. The Ring of Starless Skies gives you 40% more damage. That works with the Ring of Men down, but it doesn't work with minions. So it would only boost the Ring of Men down. That means the Ring of Starless Skies could be played in a shadow minion build. Melted Heart of Selig, no. Harlequin Crest gives you four more ranks in your skills. The thing is that minions are no skills. So if I would get four more ranks and skills right now in my minion build, I would get Corpse Explosion up, I would get Decrepify up, and I would get Corpse Tendrils up. And that's it, right? So not, not a single minion would actually profit from the Harlequin Crest. Uh, then we are having... Then we have Doombringer. Doombringer does Shadow Damage Explosions that reduce the damage done by enemies, and that is useless because you're not going from Lucky Hit anymore. And then Dariel's Visage does heal you over damage where you're not really doing the damage, but you do some damage. So technically, if you were looking for one single Uber unique, then and Dariel's Visage could be one just simply because it heals. But the damage reduction of Harlequin Crest is worth it. It would literally be the only reason to use Harlequin Crest for the damage reduction. But then again, you have damage reduction from your aspect, which is the 20% for you and your minions, right? That's actually really nice. Necromancer got a flat 20% DR. You know, if Unix uh, Ubers we currently have will be classed as legacy items. Why? Even? I mean, everything on the Eternal Realm will just be outdated. I mean, at this point, so how do I put this? At this point, any, any legendary, uh, any unique you have is actually shit. And the main reason why your uniques are shit is actually really simple. And you want to you wanna know why? Uh, because your uniques don't have greater affixes. Yeah? So every single unique from season 4 on can have greater affixes. Which I find quite crazy because that means that, for example, your Ring of Sacrilegious Souls could have even more max essence. Your freaking XL's corroded signet can have a huge amount of damage over time. But it's more interesting for the bonus rank things. Like this gives me two ranks in curse skills, one rank in amplified damage. Or they can be a greater amplified damage affix. You get a unique with a greater affix. Well, you do have a unique with a greater affix right now, but not on Eternal Realm. I'm saying every single season three, every single Eternal, Eternal unique is trash. From this point on. It's going to be really fun to actually farm these greater affixes. Because they, they do do make a difference. By the way, let's swap our amulet back around. To, to this one. Okay. Let's just see how it feels again without even piercer. So you've seen you've seen how crazy my even piercer goes now, correct? You've seen how how absolutely amazing it is versus bosses. But again, versus versus normal dungeon pushing, it's not it's not like that much more crazy. Right, I, I put my I put my thing on, I, I go in, I pull everyone together, I blight them. See, my damage reduction is happening and they all die. So so just from a mere damage output against against groups of opponents, it's not like that without, you know, without even Piercer, we're completely lost. And by the way, you shouldn't stand close to spiders when they die. 
So that's that's like that's like what I actually like about the shadow build. That even piercer, yes, makes it absolutely crazy, but it does it does actually work without it. Only that it's it, it's just like it's less less crazy. Who just die? New, new to Diablo and you're having so much fun. See, that's what we love to hear. People enjoying the game. There's so many, there's so many sad booty holds about Diablo. It's always good to see the new bloods enjoying the game wholesale, which they should, because I mean, let's, let's be fair. If you actually joined Diablo in season three and like you, you're going to consider this, right? If you joined with season three, you haven't been burned yet. You haven't you you're you're not annoyed by the affixes because well <laughs> because you haven't played the game enough i mean I'm, I'm playing the game since eternal right so i'm playing the game since release and i've i've seen shit i've gone through all the iterations I, I've, I've i've felt the pain right you, you've you've gotten the you you've had to redo your renown grind i mean alone that right i've had to redo my renown grind i almost had to redo my altars of lilith chat listen listen they almost forced us to redo the altars of lilith i mean listen listen the altars of lilith another time okay we fought for you in the trenches we made it like we made this work okay we sacrificed our sanity for you It was a hard fight. Blizzard, Blizzard was like, hey, do you want to do, do you want to do the renown grind again? And we're like, no, we don't. Yeah, well, here you go. <laughs> do you want to do the altars of Lilith another time? I mean, seriously, in season one, we almost had to do them again. Didn't we, did we do them again in season one? I don't remember. Did we do them again in season one? I think we did them again in season one and then for season two. I mean, I've played Necro since the start of the game and I've been having nothing but fun. I mean, that, that being said, the only way how, how Summoner Necro actually worked was again with Buck Lucky Hit Chance too, right? Which which makes, which makes brings me back to the main question. Maybe, maybe we should talk about hiring Lucky Hit Chance guys. I mean, right now we're playing a Lucky Hit Chance build, right? With everything Lucky Hitted out and we're, we're Lucky Hitting. Not, not to a degree where you would say this is crazy, but we're, we're still lucky hitting. See, like with without even piercer, we're we're slower. That's for sure. Because with even piercer, what, what was our time? Like we were we we're kind of like at three minutes. I was kind of like at eight minutes on boss arrival, right? Simple reality is we're just not able to easily nuke bosses. It's good that you're playing right now. I think right now playing is probably the perfect time because you actually get to enjoy season three and season three is not as like, I, I like season three. A lot of people were unhappy with it because they didn't like the robot at the beginning. I think season three was exceptionally well done after they fixed the issues with the robot and the the amount of stones and everything so exceptionally well done after after the initial feedback thank you very much I'm not ready yet. so i i enjoyed that wholesale more or less and it's it's i think it's a great season to get like the renown done to get the altars of lilith done because that that's like as a new player if you just started with game pass if you if you just started to play Diablo, there is a bunch of things you actually got to do. Wait a second. Where, where, where am I missing opponents? There's a bunch of things you got to do before you can like, like fully, fully enjoy the game. Wait, where, where are the opponents? Am I not, am I not having enough opponents? What am I missing?
I still haven't get my Genesis. I got my Genesis very, very late, and now I don't need it anymore. And I was like, you know, I, I was I was enjoying the leaderboard grind, and I, I didn't hate the leaderboard grind. But uh, now after playing season four, I just can't go back. Okay, now even Piercer boss fight chat again. I think I could, I could win the boss fight without even Piercer. But you can see how much damage we did. So I could win the boss fight without even Piercer if I didn't have to worry about one hits, right? The hardest part is to go back to season three for one month. No, why? Why would you go back? I mean, if, if you have played season three until this point, uh, the, the best thing you can do after the the uh, PTR is over is just stop playing. I mean, I, I won't I won't be touching Diablo until season four. And I'm the content creator, right? I, I do this for a living. I sure want to touch the game, but uh uh. I, mean, I, I've seen how it is better. I can't go back. How am I? How am I gonna go back if I if I know if I, if I know beautiful world out there? They, like if we didn't have to worry about the random one hits, we could definitely kill it. But but the reality is that the the super killing speed is just coming with even piercer, right? You just started Diablo. You love the game. You're 76, but you feel lost. With level 76, if you haven't done the Renown and the Altars of Lilith yet, you should do that. Otherwise, it is going to be Nightmare Dungeons slash Vaults to actually push your Glyphs higher and work your way towards level 100. I mean, right now, it's okay to actually feel lost when you are a certain level because the reality is that Season 3 does not have much to do, right? And that's with even piercer again chat even piercer even piercer ow but like you notice how 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 fast the hp went down correct if renown had better rewards it would be fun to do no no i mean it doesn't matter what for rewards renown has renown is a sure and that's it Renown is an activity they put in the game in the very beginning and they imagined that it could that, that it would be I don't know honestly I, I genuinely don't know what they imagined it would be but but Renown was from the beginning like just a shore it was never fun even the first time it wasn't fun uh, like okay so the first time it wasn't fun but it was acceptable because you were actually playing through the game and as you were playing through the game you were inevitably going through the Renown loop because you were you were having to go to dungeons you were having to do side quests you were having to do all these kind of things so it, it actually made sense right i was i was doing the quest uh, i was doing the main quest and as i was exploring kyovichat to get into every nook and cranny i was doing some random dungeons i was doing some random side quests and i was doing the strongholds so it was kind of like natural as I was playing the game to do the waypoints, the strongholds, some side quests, the area discovered, the side dungeon, the altars of Lilith. So that that made sense, especially if you look at this, the altars of Lilith is 340 points, 310 points, 330 points, 340 and uh, 280 points. So the altars of Lilith alone were one, were one renowned tier, more or less. So that means that like the thing you want to do one time, and that's altars of Lilith, they were one tier, correct? I mean, Renown is essentially a system that gives a new player to Diablo a guide at hand what to do, right? But if I have played the game a single, like more than one time, so, so as soon as I have done the Renown, as soon as I have done my first season, I don't ever want to be getting a shore, a brain dead dumbass shore. But one time it was fun. For sure. They're going to reset right now? No. <laughs> that would be one of the dumbest things they could do.
Okay, which other Necro build is there still left to try out? Man, we did a we did a um a bone spirit build. The problem is a bone spirit build was more fun than serious because the bone spirit build cannot dive deep enough. Then you get a I mean, we have we made a sever necro, but the problem with sever necro is again the same. It's your damage, it's not the minion's damage, so you're essentially playing just sever again. Blood builds I'm ruling out this season, sadly. Yeah, it is it is the full summoner in shadow. Have you tried Bone Spirit? We have done Bone Spirit because Bone Spirit has one cool thing. I don't know. I don't know if we have this on this character. Uh, veil crystals. Uh, veil crystals. We need more. Do you make a summoner Bone Spear Necro? Yes. It turns out that it's better without Bone Spear. Uh, is this the... I uh, hear this is the Bone Spirit build. In case you haven't seen it yesterday, guys. The Bone Spirit build was quite fun, but a bit clunky. Uh, what it is missing is the Littlest Wall. Actually, we do have the Littlest Wall right now, so we could... We could Littlest Wall this. So what's happening right now... Um, we're going to play this. I'm going to show it to you without Littlest. So the the um, bone spirit is actually doing millions of damage. It's it's like super it's super fun. You're zooming through the dungeon and then you're nuking things. So what we're doing is you activate your bone storm. You zoom in. You pull everything together. Then you bone spirit and your bone spirit actually goes then you bone spirit and your bone spirit kills everything Some, sometimes bone spirit gets off course right then you then you pull everything together again and you bone spirit and that, that's like your your fun gameplay loop right you're you're just you don't have any core skill in this build you bone spirit around pull things together wholesale and then you nuke him with one with a one skill button and the the way how you would survive is essentially by continuously having bone storm provide you with barium so you would actually go for that and then you would just go around and shotgun things continuously it's actually re really really funny because it does so much damage but again it's more of a um more of a very fun build that works then this is this is actually like super good right uh, there's a way how to technically put in bone spear to make this a bit smoother but it takes a bit away from the shotgun character right and, and right now it's like this this one and done shotgun character which is actually qu quite quite fun boom you could add black river to this if you really want to yeah it's it's quite the enjoyable nuking build of, of just you know just zooming around and having a silly good time and the best part is that there's a temper that gives you 104 percent bone spirit damage yes you heard right chat 104 percent bone spirit damage plus i'm currently at 244 essence keep in mind that bone spirit gets four percent more damage for every point of essence up and cast that means if i now cast the bone spirit with well 214 essence then it's getting an 800 percent damage multiplier Whee! pulling everything together and then and exploding everything and getting my my thingy back and then and then pulling everything together and I guess right shot oh no
Very enjoyable. <laughs> oh, and yes, Bone Spirit has a 100% crit chance, more or less, Jan. I think there are other completely new good builds with it for the changes that are not discovered. I mean, first and foremost, uh, we haven't seen the season four mechanic, right? I haven't seen the season four mechanic. Uh, second and most important, no. Hunter Mac. I mean, there might be some broken interactions that haven't been discovered yet, but there's no no complete new crazy build that no one has come up with before that no one thought about because simply there like there there is new things but these new things are more like uh making the current things better than enabling complete new complete new builds to work uh, the difference is for example right now for for essence heavy builds that due to getting so so what are you getting right now you are getting right now essence per second or essence per kill so any build that actually relies up an essence is now easier than ever to to make okay so so just merely just merely getting your essence or keeping your essence on 100 percent is super easy right and that's quite interesting because that that makes the bloodlands the blood surge and the sever build not struggle with the essence production anymore is it possible to make a build with golem and bone spear i mean you can make a complete normal bone spear build so a complete normal minion bone spear build okay at a, at a complete normal bone spear build you can add the Litless Wall and then still play the Bone Storm because the Bone Storm is around you and your Golem. And then you're essentially just using the Golem as a byproduct of your damage. <sighs> the problem is that Bone Spear is per se critical strike heavy, correct? Bone Spear is all about critical strike damage. And if you now choose to play the Golem, you're depriving yourself of critical strike damage straight away. Minions plus everything is possible right now. So the best minion combinations are for leveling, sever minions until level 50 or 60. Uh, for end game, it's currently no core skill minions, but you can play Bone Spear or Blight too. Then you can go for the full shadow minions. The thing is, if you use Blight, for example, with minions instead of the Golem, you get a 20% bonus damage multiplier. That's the interesting part about actually playing Blight over Bone Spear as a lucky hit source. Yes, Bone Spear has more lucky hit chance than Blight, but Blight can actually give you 20% damage multiplier, which is kind of nice. Then mo there's minion builds that run Corpse Explosions or that don't run Corpse Explosions. I prefer the one that does run Corpse Explosion. And you could obviously choose, do you want to play Army of the Dead? Do you want to play Bone Storm? And if you're going to be playing Kalen's Addict or not, so that's like the big choices you have for minion builds. But right now, when it comes down to the S tier minion builds, it's definitely shadow minions and um, pure minions with men down. I'm gonna make a build stacking ranks of golem for the memes. It's not a meme. You can make a golem mastery build and we have done this because every rank in golem mastery gives you 25% bonus damage. so you can get uh, roughly 10 to 15 ranks in this for another 250 percent bonus damage multiplier which makes the golem really really strong and your golem does like five to six to eight to ten million bonus damage hits easily every single hit but your golem ai is stupid so yeah thorim thank you for the 27 beautiful months thorim great to have you there Thank you for joining the Knights of the Round Stable. Pleasure. Beautiful. So the biggest problem with the Golem Mastery is, or the Golem in general, that he has a Shockwave, for example, with this, right? The problem is this Shockwave is a forward-facing Shockwave. So your Golem essentially attacks one minion, and then, and then he kills him. But only if someone is standing behind that minion or directly adjacent, it works. But if a minion is standing behind the Golem, he's actually not hitting that. 
So the golem is <sighs> the golem is stupid as fuck. And that's a problem. If the shockwave of the golem was a slam on the ground and then all around him, he would actually be interesting and good. And I think you could reasonably play the golem and say, you know what? We got something going on here. But he doesn't slam and he doesn't go crazy. Correct? What I did play was now several minions for leveling. So in case you missed this, we tried out the complete new level experience. That was yesterday. So we leveled from level 1 to 62 in 4 hours. It was actually quite insane how fast that went, right? The thing is, for that level experience, we actually use Sever minions. Why Sever? Because Sever scales the easiest. I mean, in the beginning, you straight up have 5 minions. Uh, that's not true. You actually have... 7 minions and 7 minions is another 14% damage multiplier just for sever and that's why we use sever for the longest time until uh we went for world we went for the temple i think the fallen temple was done without sever yeah the, the fallen temple we did without sever and it, it went super easy because you just didn't need it at some point anymore Would uh, Golem Mastery stack with Thorns? Oh, uh, that's a very good question. Technically not. Because Thorns is not a damage boost. Thorns is Thorns. Right? I, 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 I can only tell you I don't know. So if the ranks and Golem Mastery... Also boost the damage the thorns on him do. What I don't know is if the thorns on minions are their thorns or still scale with your thorns for no reason. <sighs> yeah. I mean, unless we're getting a very comprehensive minion, minion shebang at some point. I mean, right now, what do we have? It tells us literally like a minion life, minion attack speed, and that's about it. Right? You get minion life and you get minion attack speed. And, and then otherwise you don't know anything else anymore. And then you're asking yourself, well, so. And that's where a lot of these questions are coming from because if they just gave us more info, that will make life way easier. Now we're pooping on everything. As much as I want this build nerfed, uh, you can just have it exist and I, I wouldn't mind. But the funny part about Eben Piercer is, guys, Eben Piercer, it's in the word. The attacks that Eben Piercer is throwing, they're piercing. Not only are they incredible strong, who essentially. Uh, Trigger your lucky hit shebang and everything. For some for some reason, that like everyone thought they they would be super cool if they would be piercing, right? So so you just throw them through your opponent. So far things sound good for sorcerer. I'm, I do I do think necromancer is on a very good and healthy way. Uh, like a lot of the problem with builds are simply coming from the affix, right? So, I mean, you have to consider right now we have three affixes only. And some builds are just more affix needy than others. I mean, what does, what does overpower, for example, need? Overpower needs life. Overpower needs crit. Overpower needs overpower. And then critical strike chance. So overpower alone needs, they, they need like four stats to kind of do the do, right? To, to work. And now you only have three stats every single time. So you can only choose like, do I want life? Do I do I want the critical strike chance and so on? So you kind of end up in this problem where, where some builds are just very needy and others aren't. I mean, minions are, for example, very simple. The minion build right now just needs crit chance, crit damage. 
and some attack speed. That's about it. And that can, can nicely be thrown throughout. Have you Lilith tested with the build? I mean, Lilith is a joke with any build, especially with minions too. And the only difficulty with Lilith is and will always be uh, not getting hit by our fireballs and dying. Right? And it's not like Lilith is hard. Not sure what build to still test this season. What we could go for. I mean, we have the key legendaries or the key uniques that Necker needs. I've tested them like in and out. So, Lilith. Mommy. How much lucky hit do we have? 66.6% lucky hit. <laughs> Not sure if I could have more. I mean, I have lucky hit, lucky hit. I mean, a greater affix lucky hit with lucky hit. Yeah, I mean, with tempering, I should get more. Did you already get enough sparks to craft Uber you need? No. That was little phase one. When I heard some creators actually already put the time in to farm Uber uniques on this server. And I'm kind of like, okay, but why? But don't don't get me wrong. I, I respect your decisions, but farming Uber uniques on 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 a public test realm seems a bit silly. Okay, so that that was that was Lilith. And now we get to look out that we don't get hit by these fireballs. As always, just rushing around. Don't get hit. Make sure things don't turn awkward, which is really hard sometimes. Because obviously everything is just pumping out everything, right? You get your blood mist. You walk out of here. And you get touched by the ball. And that thing comes here. And you win. It's over. For some reason, she doesn't die. And she dies. It's like, we complicated. Lilith is not even an in-game boss anymore. They made her too easy. They didn't make her too easy. She was never hard. But Lilith was never hard. And she was just stupid. I mean, I'm a necromancer. And in season one, in the middle, they buffed the movement speed of necromancer because we were moving too slow and that moving too slow made it unable to kill lilith I mean, you literally couldn't kill lilith because quote unquote you were not fast enough how strong can you make corpse generals i saw you can upgrade them by 300 <sighs> percent Corpse tunnels need a corpse to work. Corpse tunnels have a cooldown reduction. Yes, you can temper corpse tendrils with a 300% bonus damage. It is an offensive tempering. Offensive tempering works on... Let me see. Where would it all work on? Offensive tempering works on three items. So with offensive tempering, I could get another 300% plus 300% damage on corpse tendrils. The biggest problem is that the base damage of corpse terminals is low. I mean, if you're looking at corpse explosion right now, this is actually the shadow corpse explosion. This is the physical one. Let's go over to our physical build. So this makes more sense. Can corpse terminals crit? They can. This is just so we're not seeing a shadow build. So the main problem is that the base damage of corpse tendrils is low. Corpse tunnels here, 7,000 damage. Corpse explosion here, 61,000 damage. 
they both have uh three ranks in and seven ranks in now let's assume i would also put seven ranks in corpse tendrils just just for the sake of it right one two three seven so now it's seven ranks in corpse tendrils that brings it up to eight thousand damage versus still sixty one thousand damage and and that's like the point like even even if all the points are in corpse tendrils even if corpse tendrils is boosted to the max yeah um the multiplier it has is very low also imagine how much damage it could deal if you can spam it well i mean corpse tunnels needs the corpse to work so instead of corpse tunnel you could have a corpse explosion and instead of increasing the corpse tendril damage you can also temper the size of your corpse explosion so why would you care about the potential of buffing corpse tendrils if you could otherwise also buff that uh there's one thing to consider someone was asking for a build that no one thought about um where is it offensive profane so damage to cursed enemies or iron maiden damage iron maiden damage is an interesting thingy because what iron maiden does is curse the target area enemies afflicted by iron maiden take damage each time they deal direct damage right and then you would have uh, when at least three enemies are afflicted by iron maiden it damage is increased by 30 percent so technically you could increase the iron maiden damage by a 30 percent multiplier while you're boosting the iron maiden while you're then playing a thorns build and then you could turn iron maiden into shadow damage right yeah you could turn iron maiden into shadow damage which then means that everything iron maiden does should scale with shadow and then technically last but not least boost the damage by 125 percent on three items so so it could work you know unreasonable though i mean like if you if you want to think about builds that could be possible you can actually look into the temper recipes because the temper recipes are showing you a lot of things uh sadly sadly there's there's nothing there where you really like you know what this was this would allow a complete crazy build that i have never seen before because they're there honestly there's none you know it's always like making current builds better enhancing current builds i mean sure what you could do is you could make a golem build and then is it utility or which one is it was it offensive no i think it's resource uh yeah resource so golem active cooldown reduction which is quite interesting because golem active cooldown reduction can be put on rings too so technically you could put a 25 25 25 then you could temper this and everything so you could have your golem active cooldown reduction i mean it's 25 or 25 and so on but you could put this so low that you could technically spam the ability A rare elixir marked a seasonal item. I mean, you can actually see the season and I'm not sure how they could be so stupid to let this in. There is these quests here, right? John, there's these quests here for the, the whisper quests. And for some reason, they forget one thing to remove one that says support the iron wolves. Well, their iron wolves don't exist, Chan. We don't know who the iron wolves are. Uh, apart from that season four has something to do with the iron wolf so yeah uh how could you leave that in that seems that seems like such a grave oversign i mean there is the leak so diablo 4 season 4 leak in case you haven't seen it um Where is the, where's the season four theme league? Season. Can you find it right now? 
Find a link for me. Do you? There's an iWolf cam in the game. Yes, there is. There is many things. I hear. I found it. So we get, we get the Iron Wolf thingy. Uh, there was there was quite some some uh, data mining happening. So this is the season four symbol probably on the map. There is Iron Wolf emblem. The Iron Wolf were initially the mercenaries you could hire, as far as I understand, in season two, right? And the thing is, you have seen in multiple situations where you could actually gain Wolf's Honor. It's actually a bit weird. So you, you could run around and you could gain Wolf's Honor, which makes no sense. And there's more to the data mine. So this is the Wolf's Honor. You've seen this pop up probably. Everyone has seen it. Then there's a Helltide quest that actually is called um, Help the Iron Wolves. Okay. Here, this one, Assist the Iron Wolves. Unlike many mortals, the Iron Wolves are not so craven as to wait quietly for death. Assist them in cleansing these lands of demonic influence. Who are the Iron Wolves? They're not in the game, but this quest exists. Right? Uh, then there is, wait, let me, decent. Go down. So then we had data mined reputation rewards. So some Iron Wolf claws, some boots, some amulet. This is the amulet of the iron wolves um then there is reputation caches beginner tempering kit expert tempering kit immediate tempering kit so it seems like that there is some iron wolf caches right but there is uh elixirs and whatsoever and then last but not least i think there is data mined npcs But all in all, yeah, it's kind of kind of obvious. We will we will see. We will see. I mean, I am patient enough to to wait for this, to find this out, to not jump out of the window and go completely crazy about it. There's an Iron Wolf camp. Where where is the Iron Wolf camp? Where did you find it already in which city? But I, I would, I would, I wouldn't mind to, uh, like, I, I could believe that they forgot to take it out. But if they already forgot to take whispers out, right? I mean, this, this is end of the day, the season four client. It's just the neutered season four client. So how does the build perform if you remove the bucked Eben Piercer? I mean, we have already removed the bucked Eben Piercer. Wait, let's go back. Um, we have removed the bucked Eben Piercer before, my friend. And the build still performs admirably well. The problem is the boss. The problem is the boss and there's no way to make the boss damage better. Okay. So the issue is and will always stay with any kind of shadow damage over time build that you can spam the enemy with blight and everything. But at some point, like if they're not standing still and they're not standing in your blight, then they're not going to take the damage and then your damage over time is not popping. It's... <sighs> yeah. I don't know how to, how to fix this from a shadow standpoint because we are actually getting the 50% damage multiplier. We're having the crit. We have the lucky hit proc. And the, the, biggest, the biggest fix would be just boosting lucky hit chance. Because right now this says your damage over time effects have up to a 50% chance to erupt dealing damage over time. So that's kind of cool, right? Damage over time effects. The problem is my damage over time effect has 70% lucky hit chance and 42%. That means that even this is 50%, right? 50% sounds great. But even 50% of 67% is not that much. And 50% of uh 42% is even less. So it's not really guaranteed to happen much. And even that 40% here to deal shadow damage over time. So 40% of uh 67%. So in 67% of the cases, 40% could happen is also not that much. Right? Where's reasonable? Reasonable. 
But with, with like such a low chance, especially when you're fighting only one opponent, it's always a little bit, oh. Uh. But if you're fighting more than one opponent, that's where it gets beautiful. I mean, this is like a tier 76 right now. So so a tier 76 would be, uh, what? Just, just from perspective. Uh, tier 76 is a tier 20, 30, 30 pid, 40 pid. I mean, pit starts as level 100 and then up to 124 so you're quite later pin and if you're now now zooming without using blight like like my my, my lucky hit is triggering like enough to work i mean obviously if i'm using then blight things get silly if you then if you then decide to use blight even piercer things are are like getting straight up from from like normal to ludicrous oh, I'm just getting nuked I need more time. so I'd say the shadow build is able to kill bosses really nicely um really nicely up to a certain degree but at some point you just face the standard shadow issue no matter what you do one thing that i find interesting about the even piercer is it has essence cost reduction which kind of makes no sense for me because why why would you make a shadow item that shoots out blight and then it has essence cost reduction where where usually blight is not even that essence hungry and you can easily restore essence as a shadow build Seems a bit of a waste I would find even piercer cooler if it was a skill for sever that would make me happy so yeah this is a tier 70 you just notice how we're just blasting through right you and the family are well we're beyond well thank you very much for asking hope you're doing well in good status i guess one one thing we have to think about in season four is what are we making builds for chan because if you're asking me what's the best necromancer build i can i can obviously only tell you uh what's the the easiest build will be for the um for the pit yeah, because because that i mean that's end of the day what you're farming right we are farming the pit you have to farm the pit to get your temper materials and that's like the point like best build for one and you can see there brother so what's 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 the best build for what are you planning to play gauntlet are you going to go for you know the pit and then and then we have to talk about like what does good for the pit mean For double curse minions you don't need double curse anymore i'm not sure why you want to see double curse that's useless so so like right the, the, the thing is that after level 80 or 90 the pit doesn't make sense anymore so le level 80 or 90 is more than enough from a difficulty standpoint and most builds can do 80 or 90 actually every single build can do 80 or 90 no matter how weak so and si since you like yeah hmm. i mean what are you going to look for chat tell me la, 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 la. Uh, taroka said i can't watch you a lot because i'm german with a normal job how dare you and how dare you taroka thank you for the ongoing support and thanks for keeping that up that's like the thing so what is it what is it built wise are you looking for a tier 200 pit build is it what can i kill right when you you need to you need to kind of be able to do a certain level of pit you want to be able to kill the bosses in the boss ladder and i mean that that's where already this build might struggle with occasionally and i can i can kill every normal boss with with like this but probably without even piercer it'd be annoying to kill a boss in the boss ladder again With how impactfully tempered and master work gear is, Uber Uniques seem to have dropped off the must-have list. Not only Uber Uniques, also 
normal uniques. I mean, I like the Ring of Sacrilegious Souls, for example, but at the end of the day, it's effectively just providing me three corpse skills. And if I use it, I'm going to be missing out on 80% critical strike damage. I'm going to be missing out on the double temper and all these shenanigans. Uh, Dex, definitely pilot. Dex and some arcane. Is the pit a big ending boss? No, the pit is the new thingy to do. So the pit you open up. Cruise glove. Cruise glove uh, serves a different purpose of actually consuming corpses, which is interesting. So now in the pit, you're going to be fighting against the timer. So it's it's you it's you versus the timer. And you're going to be trying to beat this really, really quick. And if you beat it really, really quick, you are getting a chest at the end. And that chest will contain fancy boss materials for mastering, uh, for, for, for master working. Keep in mind that when you die, you lose time. And no one likes to lose time because if you lose time, you're not going to make it in the artificial's mastery window. And if you're not making it in the artificial's mastery window, then you are indeed not even getting a loot chest. So if you notice that you're not even going to beat the dungeon, then you might as well just back out and redo it because realistically, you want to you want to get it done. Yeah, this is this is what the pit is. I I do personally like it a lot. I think it's I think it's a worthwhile activity for master working materials. I mean, end of, end of the day, they need to have us do something for master working materials, right? And Blizzard believes in there there should be one element of the end game for for whatever you want. I mean, this is this is the reason why Nightmare Dungeons still exists, right? I mean, what's the what's the purpose of Nightmare Dungeons? The purpose is to get glove XP. That's that's why Nightmare Dungeons are in the game. Glove XP. And as much as Nightmare Dungeons are boring at this point, because you've done like 20 billions of them. Yes, Paula, roughly that. We can go up to 60 decks. I mean, I think the pitch should have been what the gauntlet was. When? What? Rephrase? I mean, the pit's purpose is right now to be the Abattoir of Zia reimagined, essentially. That's the purpose of the pit. Because we had the Abattoir of Zia, and now you have the pit, and the pit is kind of like the next thing. Uh, which, which, which is funny, because again, the pit has the same problems as the Abattoir of Zia, in terms of enemy damage, in terms of over-damaging enemies and everything. So, yeah. It still needs to get fixed especially when it comes down to the one hits right i mean the pit for competitive mm. Mm. pit for competitive nah i mean it, like you could still make a pit leaderboard princeton i didn't like I guess it wouldn't hurt. Just just make a leaderboard for the pit. How deep can you go? It's 200 tiers deep, but after level 100, it doesn't get harder anymore. So what happens after 100? The monster level is 199. And after 100, you can go deeper, deeper and deeper. And the monsters will stay 199. They'll never be more than that. The only thing that changes is a bit more sturdiness for your enemies. That's it. Right? A bit more sturdiness for your enemies. Now you could push for level 200. The thing is, I have currently reached level 
117. And I have right now, if I look into my inventory, I have 5,500 Neath Iron. Neath Iron is needed to masterwork the last four tiers. Okay. And in order to temper another gear like the last four tiers right now, uh, let's see, do I have something that far? No. Uh, but but yeah, so so you kind of need like I don't know, 200 ingolith, and for neath iron you need like. I mean you need a couple of hundred neath iron, right? But I I rarely run out of the neath iron. I'm I'm more or less I have I have like a crazy amount, right? And I'm not even getting that much more for doing higher tiers. So the problem is with the current system that after tier 90, you should just stop. See, like I need 15 to do this right now. So yeah, after after the after after you have reached tier 90, going deeper makes no sense. Now, if you do want to drop deeper, if you do want to dive deeper, that's fine. But there is no carrot and stick anymore. Abattoir of Zir had the carrot and stick in terms of the tears of blood. So Abattoir of Zir, you went faster, more tears of blood, more tears of blood, deeper, more tears of blood, deeper, more tears of blood, deeper. That was a little bit like the, the, the reason, right? Madden, thank you for the 53 months of support. Madden, so good to see you there. Pleasure. And the thing is, we don't have any reasons to go deeper. Not only that, okay? So we not only have a reason to not go deeper, the same goes for Nightmare Dungeons. I mean, we realistically have Nightmare Dungeons up to 100. And a 100 Nightmare Dungeon gives you 365 Glyph XP. Uh... But a tier 80 dungeon gives me also 300 somewhat, somewhat glyph XP. And a tier 80 dungeon is vastly easier than a 100. And a tier 80 dungeon gives you the same loot as a tier 100. Blizzard has created that problem where we have content. And there's no reason to do it. Let's assume, let's assume for a second that a tier 100 dungeon would drop uniques more likely. That a tier 100 dungeon would be having better loot. So if you farm a tier 100 dungeon, it's actually worth it. The reality is that that's not the case. The same goes for the pit. If higher level pits would provide you with boss materials. If higher level pits would have way better, way better unique drops. That'd be good. The, re the reason for higher pit is better loot and harder bosses. Why would harder bosses be a reason when, when lower bosses are faster to kill? When I'm pit 200, you almost get every run a unique to drop. I al also get that on the lower pit. And I've done five pits and I've gotten uh, five uniques, including a unique double drop. So let's say only four uniques because one time was a unique double drop. You get uniques on the lower end too. Again, no reason. Especially not for the time it takes and, and for the for the stupid it is. I mean, if you're a barbarian, it makes sense to push deeper into the pit because you're overtuned and nothing is a challenge for you, right? For what do you need dungeons after 45? You need only to clear 45 to enable pit or am I wrong? Uh, you still need to uh, level up your glyphs. So your glyphs need to be level 21. And in order to get your glyphs 21, you need nightmare dungeons. And in order to not spend so much time in there, you want to do lower nightmare dungeons. Because a tier 45 gives you 105 glyph XP or so. And a tier 70 to 80 gives you 260 to 300 glyph XP. Now do the math, right? Um... If you're... If you're gonna be, you're gonna be doing uh, ten tier one hundreds, and ten tier one hundreds take you fifty minutes, and you get three hundred or let's say four hundred glyph XP per tier one hundred, or a tier eighty, ten tier eighties, take you thirty minutes because they are faster and easier to do. 
but you only get 320, so 80 glyph XP less, but you could in the same time frame do a vast higher amount of, yeah. You don't get glyph XP in the pit. No, sadly not. As I said, Blizzard believes in one dungeon, one purpose, right? So you're currently having, well, what, what, what are we having? You have Helltide for boss material. That would be um, Steel and Whispers, because that's what you get there a lot. Then you have Nightmare Dungeon for Glyph XP, not even for loot, because Helltide is also for loot. To be honest, drops way more loot than what a Nightmare Dungeon has. Then you have the pit, and that's master working materials. Then you have tormented bosses for no reason. Slash one resplendent spark. Uh, then you get the boss ladder for uniques slash uber uniques. And seasonal whatevers and then the seasonal whatever I mean, this is what we have right now and i like yeah blizzard oh and you have the the gauntlet for leaderboard gauntlet low challenge difficulty leaderboard content Has said tormented bosses will be adjusted when it comes down to loot and feedback. The problem is for tormented bosses to work, they would need to drop five. They would need to drop uh five Uriel mats. They would need to drop four times the loot. Or and or the summoning material would need to be watered and i i don't see them in any capacity making the tormented bosses worth in in the long short run i mean currently the tormented bosses are cool and they're fun and they're a challenge and they're interesting but, <sighs> but apart from being fun and a challenge they have no reason to exist i mean from a from a gameplay loop challenge there's only a punishment doing them and that stings they could add mega chance for an uber then the, i mean sure they could add mega chance for an uber but right now doing one tormented boss is the equivalent of doing five normal bosses and if you do five normal bosses you have five times the chance to get an uber unique no matter how slim the chances you have it five times Whereas, no matter how high the uber unique drop chances from a torment head boss, it would have to be 10% or more, it wouldn't be worth it. And even if it was 10% and more, okay, even if it was 10% and more, then it would still be a 50 50, either it drops or it doesn't. The biggest problem with any kind of boss ladder is right now that it's antagonistic to solo players. I mean, we all know that solo players are being punished in this game right now, hardcore. That the, the, game, the game just simply doesn't like solo players when it comes down to the end game grind. Apart from the pit, the pit is better solo, right? But re realistically, uh, <laughs> otherwise, you're being punished for playing solo, which is obviously a shitty feeling, right? You you never you never want to be punished for that. Not like a stinker. But but it is but it is what it is, right? You did 40 Durials and you got zero Ubers and then 30 more and get zero Ubers. Yeah, that's completely normal. Why would you expect to have a single Uber after 70 Durials? I mean, so so that's the same with the Uber bosses. Again, I mean you could do 70 Uber bosses and never get a single Uber unique. Because welcome to RNG, welcome to the world of drop chances and that kind of stuff. 
The one good thing they added is that you would get one resplendent spark for killing the uber boss. And in my humble opinion, I wouldn't mind if every single uber boss gives you a spark. Because this how this is how I understood it in the beginning. Okay? This is how I very much understood it in the beginning. That you kill an uber boss, you get a resplendent spark. And then you kill four uber the first time you kill him. So you would kill, you would kill Varshan, you would kill the Beast of Ice, Uber Varshan, Uber Beast of Ice, Uber Duriel, Uber Andariel, uh, Uber Zur, who's missing? Uber Gregoire, that's six. Yeah, I guess I have them. So you, you kill six Uber bosses and you would get six Resplendent Sparks. Considering that Uber Uniques are useless right now, to a degree, that would make me kill the tormented bosses. That would give me ample and good reasons to, to fight them, to overcome them, to put them down, because I, I would have the chance to, to get an Uber Unique then. And not any Uber Unique, it could be one that I can craft. Right? Again, make it up, make it of that what you want, right? But yeah, um, I would say that's going to conclude it for today with a PDR. We tested Blood Surge, we tested Blood Surge minions, a Shadow, a Shadow Eben Piercer. We made the full Corpse Explosion build work and it just wasn't good. Uh, I think it's time for a State of Necromancer update video too, where I talk about Necromancer and what we have kind of gotten and how we are a bit like how the creativity is high, but how the pit is bringing its own issues in terms of build creativity, build viability, because right now you're a bit caged in when it comes down to actually going deep into the pit. I, cannot do that. I think that's going to be a good one. I'm done though for today. So thank you for coming, watching, lurking, chatting, hanging out. I'll be back tomorrow for more. I'm not sure if we're going to be playing Diablo, but I think there is, I mean, Shadow Minions is still, Shadow Minion still has to be built. Yeah, Shadow Minions still has to be built and maybe like one or two other builds. We'll think about it. Until then, have a great good time, night, evening, day, and I'll all see you tomorrow again. Laters. Watch the YouTube. Subscribe. Prime subs, thank you.